Okay, we're live. All right. Yeah, by, by the way, this is live, but not live. It's like, it's, is that correct, Steph? So it's, it out is online. live right now. So welcome, everybody. Today is Saturday, October 14th, 2023. And this is our healing event for the month of October. My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick. Hello. And we are from HealTeachLove.org. I hope you know who we are. We are healers. My husband uh, and I have been healing for about six or seven years. My husband, I don't know whether we should go into this whole spiel. I think, I don't think anybody here doesn't know who. <laughs> for the sake of of uh youtube and i guess any uh people who yeah, on that, that but how many years have you been healing again i can't remember six or seven <laughs> sorry <laughs> a long it was time. like that two years ago wasn't it? <laughs> yeah but i think just about everybody knows our story um and i don't think we should yeah. have to do it now i think earlier youtube videos even uh, explain about ourselves but um, we're happy to see you uh, in this eclipse day. Tonight is the eclipse. The energies are pretty, pretty strong, but we're here with Philip Barrow, our esteemed colleague. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I won't go on. I, I won't. I've been healing. I'm now, I'm 58 next month. Wow. <laughs> I've been healing since I was five. So, uh... Anyway. But the saying. journey, the journey changes all the time. This week, yes. a week ago, I merged, partly merged with Source. I've never done that. That was amazing. But I needed that for the work I've done this week. Uh, so that's how we began. Yeah, yeah, that's how we began. Ama amazing things can happen. But normally, it's because I'm doing something in a few days, and they are, they already know, so they just push me in that way. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Uh, we haven't got a narrator, so me and Deb and Rick's going to do it. So. Yeah. So if um if I if I skip, I, it's not on purpose. It's because I I'm old. <laughs> no comment. Um, Jillian, um, I wanted Jillian wanted to say something at the start of this because we have got some uh, energies, eclipse energies, and um, I wanted to let Jillian speak um regarding what we're bringing forth today because of this eclipse energy in season um and then i think there's an important message please speak jillian hi can you hear me yes yeah yeah and i was just wondering if we could open the circle with some extra light some bit of extra protection around in, in the individual this i don't know what time it is for everyone in this time and space I suppose it's best to say. And um, just to acknowledge that um, everything's heart centered. And it's for me, it's about releasing that which no longer serves as that which shouldn't really be here at the moment. And um, to not enable the things that we are releasing to anchor in within the circle. I am releasing all oh, that does not serve me. I am allowing and anchoring in. So, really, do um, a clearing. Do you want me to do a clearing? Deb, right, I've, deal got, I've got. I've got. Can still yeah. deal with some energy. So I've got I've got a suggestion. If if we did breath work, and you try and go down to your lowest chakra you can, and then when you're breathing out, you're breathing anything that's not served serve you. That's Absolutely, and it's um, about inviting in um, assistance because we, you know, apart from yourselves, and sometimes even ourselves, we're a bit weakened at the moment with the energies that are coming in to invite in only the highest light. And I personally, 
am refusing consciously to do any uh, engage in any contracts with any shadow beings or false beings or attachments or implants from others within the circle because I acknowledge that everything is a lesson or a blessing but at this moment in time I'm guided energetically to speak this and anyone else who agrees you know you say your own mantra or maybe just so be it or myself also um you. you know I, I can't speak for everyone but as a circle we are all one at the moment and our energies are all connected so so to disallow um energies that are resonant with others within the group um maybe not allow them entrance through the spoken word because our words are very powerful at the moment and I do appreciate that sometimes we don't get to speak about these things to other people because a lot of the collective don't get where we're at and what we're doing and that's okay but I tend to feel because I'm very energetically sensitive from this type of thing I can sometimes leave a group with more than energies on the peripheral of me aura than I've actually entered a group with and with the energies being so strong at the moment uh, I don't feel that that's going to serve but that that's you know that's just me at the moment okay I agree with you and I um any any beings that are presenting with as light or attached to any shadow and there are shadow and everything has a shadow but at this eclipse moment I choose to anchor through our sun the central sun and the sun from my galactic and soul origin I ask for the energies to go through these three gates at the moment I choose only to work with the highest light and resonance to source and unconditional love at the moment. Um, personally, on this day with the eclipse, those are the only energies I'm allowing into my space uh, and along my timelines. I'm in agreement with that. I choose that because for me it's about empowerment and we're all empowering each other at the moment we're we're in a circle and we all have our weaknesses and we all need assistance and as we assist each other we assist the collective and and we are one we all grow together okay I'm just anchoring in a lot of energies at the minute I can feel it trembling through my nervous system I think if uh, if we all uh, ask for I, I, our highest aspects to join us, our guardian, our guides, our protectors, I'm also asking absolutely, for absolutely, and even shadow as as its place. But when we um, allow these, because we have we have sub we have subconscious contracts and we have conscious contracts, but um, it doesn't allow the energy healing portal to be closed and sealed correctly from my perspective um and we we are in a group and unless we're dealing with a group where the energies are brought in as one and we're all cleansed as one it it can lead especially when we're weakened and need healing uh, a channel an access point to cord for things to come in from other people that's just what's happened to me that's just my perspective I'm, I'm not saying that's for everyone yeah Julian I actually link up uh, a transmuting e energy crystal to the group and that will take any negative energies basically I've done that for quite a while so that's this here that, that is connected to the group any negative energies that they're trying to bring in that will just take it. It will it will transmit it to, to light. Uh, I do think that's very uh, very uh, because we're so close. It's needed basically. 
because we, we don't know what if anyone's got a trickster energy connected to them. So I'm linking that up now if everyone's happy. Does anyone that. know who the original um the original creator of all all universes was? I I just call him Source. Source. Yeah, just Source. He hasn't got a name. Isn't that isn't source the isn't he the source of this universe? Yes, but all of all universes of all. Yeah, yeah. there are multiple from my perspective. He, he, he basically put consciousness in, in a, a many uh, many places, and uh, that's how he created, created uh, the physical. And we're we're basically we are source. We're aspects of source. So yeah, within us, it, uh, we're here to, to experience physical, bring it back to our oversoul, our oversoul is the aspect of source, so you can gain knowledge. So, all right, that's what I'm told. Anyway. Nameless and faceless. Yeah. Mm. He's formless. And what you see outside in um, back to source itself, you basically see, Kind of like this big, big, big eye, a circle with a lots of colors, borders around it. It's like almost gas if you're going to look through source itself. Um, but we are all particles, fragments of, you know, the energy um, body of source. Each and every one of us, not just us, but all sentient being, all collective, we're all part of source itself. And this is where we come in and we forget who we are based on the veil of illusion and amnesia that we, you know, had a contract to come in for. Most planets don't have this problem, don't have this contract taking place. It's just happening like um, for Earth because Earth is the training ground right now for our universe. It's the heart chakra of the universe. Plus other things happen, you know, during the course of our um, growth here, like interferences. Should we do some breath work? Yes. So we do three of these. What you've got to do is like, close your eyes and just breathe through your mouth. Your nose, yeah. you mean? Mouth. Your mouth? Yeah. Your mouth? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Breathe in again. Take another sip. Hold it there. And just think of anything that's not for your eyes good. Keep it there. Release it through your mouth again. Do it again. A bit more sit, a bit more. Really go down to your lower chakras, your root, your heart, your sacral, especially your sacral, That's your emotions, and release. This is a longer one, try and hold your breath in. Right, breathe in, breathe in again, lower, lower again. Keep it that. And breathe out. You can tell I've been doing that on the third be a lot. <laughs> I can breathe longer now. So, should we start then? I also call, I'm calling in the angelics as well. Okay, I have one person um, that con contacted me prior to early, very early this morning. Um, she's actually my spiritual teacher. I need to, where's my share button? There it is. 
we can do healing on her first. Let me find her photo. It's a very old photo. What's up with her? It's um she wrote, woke up in pain. Um, I think it's her a nerve and her tooth on the right hand side. Christine Preston. Um It's an old photo, but it doesn't matter for this. Let me go back in here, share. I'm getting a set nerve of her tooth. And she's in England, so there's no dentist's office open today. Whereabouts? Um, she's near Shoebridge. It's giving her a, a, a headache as well. Yes, she actually has a headache. She said she never gets sick. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm picking up some things in trying to get at them. Really? Yeah. Targeted. I'm picking up on a fine cord. Um, uh, an uh, ancestral epigenetics, whatever that is. Um. Her actual left hand side of her head, right by the side of her crown chakra. Would this have to do with polio? The cord? What can you see, Phil? Yeah, I'm getting something in the shoulder, actually. I'm just removing it. Quite painful on the shoulder. I can't hear I'll, you. I'll, sorry. I'm getting something in the shoulder. I'm, I'll go to the Kashik and uh, is there any answer, sure. Go leave it. We have got permission, by the way. <laughs> Yes. yes. Yeah. Just check it. Just check it. She wrote and asked for healing. She's out. She gave permission for healing in this event. That cord's gone. I went back in the timeline and I went to the cash in. Is 
Did that cord have anything to do with your teeth? Yeah, I don't think it was. Actually. I don't know. Yeah, just tell her she had something in the shoulder. Uh, the, 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 the implant for her. <laughs> it's gone now. Got an implant? Yeah, we took it out. She didn't have much. She's defending it a lot. But she's I, didn't see, I, didn't, I didn't see an implant. You saw I an implant? It. I felt it. Was it inv yeah. invisible? Yeah, I felt it. Yeah. That's what's There's a little um, a very subtle vibration around her diaphragm. Bill, if you can look into it. Subtle vibration. Yeah, I Archangel, can feel it Arch Archangel Michael works on her at night. He raises her. I can just feel um, a very subtle, gentle fizzing um, around a diaphragm. Um, yeah, it feels above it, not not in the lower chakras. So from the solar plexus, just below the solar plexus, around somewhere around the diaphragm. She's all right now. Yeah, but have a look at her. See, see uh, how she felt all that. I used uh, celestial images. Oh. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? No, I think it's because the air conditioning is on. All right. Can Ask you hear me, her. Dad? Okay, go ahead. Ask her how, how she feels. I, I think it's all done. So. Yeah, because I can't see anything. I'm. It feels really bright to me now. That feels really clear. Yeah. I, I use celestial energies from 22D. I, I don't use much of it because I can't handle it, to be honest. It's too, too powerful for me. The non-physical energies. I only use a bit because I think she can handle it anyway. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, she's she looks fine to me. Cool. Headache though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she never gets headaches or anything like that. Um All right. Thank you. Yeah, they're just very clever, the beings. Wow. Yeah. Oops. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, so next is... Irina. Hi. 
You on mute, I think. Yeah. What'd you say? She's on mute. <gasps> okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I was muted and I was speaking, but yeah, it was right. Hello. Um, may I ask, did you look at something specific? Yes. Okay. So it's very interesting because since the last time we worked on me, something became very clear. So 2016, most likely, uh, some very, very, very dark stuff has been done on me. Um, and it's a complete blockage of partnership. I mean, even when I meet, you know, somebody who, I mean, it's it's really so much. It's like within two days, uh, basically complete blockage. And the same is with uh, money, specifically with money, not general abundance, but specifically with money. Is it, would that be a contract? That sounds like a contract. Um... It was my so-called, you know, uh, yeah, uh, twin flame, but it was very heavy karmic stuff. I mean, really, really very dark, very, I was, yeah, basically completely manipulated and um, maneuvered like, uh, and although I was realizing it, there was this soul connection, so I couldn't let go for quite a while, actually, less than a year, but uh, yeah, it was extremely heavy and it just became clear that it's, it has been put on me then by him specifically. I mean, you think it, you think it is so, you think it is so magic on the... That's what he was doing actually. That's how I met him because I was trying to leave my husband at the time and he wouldn't let go. That, so that's how I met the guy. So he was absolutely into, yeah magic and uh, whatever it's just that i i realized at some point that it's very very dark and black but uh, it was too late and uh, i couldn't do anything about it at the time anyways so how is it affecting you now well how it is affecting me now uh, i mean as soon as i speak to, to as i said i mean money complete blockage and relationships and not only intimately relationships i mean intimate anyways i mean complete blockage but also interhuman relationships it's like i'm putting this bubble and no you know yeah pretty much i feel like i'm in the state uh, from at the time in a very unpleasant place emotionally call it whatever you want and i feel like i'm frozen in that like capsule and so, uh, I cannot break out. So it's like controlling your life still? Mm. On certain uh, certain areas. To do it, you, you're not allowed to meet anyone. That's what's yeah. happening, isn't it? Right. Absolutely. And the second thing is money. I mean, he, he basically wasted all my money at the time and pretty much when all my money was gone, then uh, he, he, he got completely angry at me that I didn't have any. What made you think this is your twin flame? Well, okay, twin flame is not the right expression, but it was very, you know. Like, like, like a soulmate, but not quite a controlled soulmate. Yes, but very dark, you know, very karmic. I mean, we played out all sorts of, uh, of, of, he, of he, roles. He, he wasn't a soulmate. He, 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 he yeah. manipulated you to. to uh, Correct. To yep. show he was a soulmate. Yeah. It's like a trickster, but in physical. Yeah. Definitely a trickster. <laughs> yeah, but a real Absolutely. one. <laughs> I mean, there are, there are real, there are real yeah. witches that, that cast black magic on people all the time. Yeah. I think I, it yeah. has to yeah, be. I, I, I've, well. I've, seen, I've seen a lot of that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And as I said, he wasted all my money. He manipulated me in basically literally i gave him all my money and uh and then he was he went frantic so uh yeah before we open the pandora box yes what, what what did he used to do spiritually when you were with him 
He was a healer. Okay. Do you have a picture? Do you have a picture of this person? No. I mean, I can pull one online now, but it will take a while. No. Uh, well, if you're linked to it, we might, we might be able to do it through you. <laughs> Theoretically. If he's no, got his I'm energy, not... if, if he's linked, no way. If he's manipulated, if you're manipulating now where you can't have a relationship, so he's still linked to you. Still linked to you. Yeah. That's that's what it feels like. I mean, I don't I haven't had contact with him since 2017. But um, if, yeah. if if we had a picture of him now, he would know we're doing something. Because we would we would connect, we wouldn't get permission. No way we'd get permission. So we'd have to force it on us. The easiest way is through you, actually, because then he doesn't know who's doing it. Yeah. Uh, you so, can check for hooks and cords, though, Phil, from him, and yeah. you can ask at the account. Yeah, no, I, I, that's what I said, Jul Julian. I can go through 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 you to get at him because he'll it, be linked to you. He must be linked to you. There's no way he can yeah. just do it without. But yeah, yeah Patrick, I can so. check him out. Did he do any black magic or anything like that, or just healing? Oh, it's... Not that he admitted it. Did he ever say anything that you think, oh, what? that's a bit weird? Like, did he ever curse anyone? Or... Well, let's put it that I, I remember one case. I mean, some guy was not nice to him or didn't pay him. It was always about money. I mean, he was he was a gambler. I, I found out later, so he was losing everything he, he was making. And uh, he was complaining about this guy, I don't know, something about money. And then after a while, a few days, he showed me a picture of this guy being in hospital, beaten up real bad. So I'm absolutely I, I, convinced he was doing some... I, th I think it's not him. I think his addiction has brought in some beings. I think he's being controlled as well. I think it's one big loop. Uh, and they're still attached and they're still probably stealing your energy. Yeah, it's like a loop. Uh, they must have got, you must have some implants in you. You must do. So we start. Deb, yeah, are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hand, up, hand on a box now. Tell us if you can feel it. Tell us if you can feel pain as we're doing it in case you've got a, a resistance, you know, like a, a trigger thing. Yeah. My Just spine. Is it, it is already at the beginning of the healing. My spine, right. especially on the right side. Yeah. She's, do got, that. There's, she's got one of the ones in her neck that's got the needle mm -hmm. going through it. And just one thing, you haven't had the lollipop, have you? Have you had the lollipop? Do you know what that is? Have you had this? You know what we're talking about. We've already asked her this. Yeah, well, I don't know. I've... We've already been through this with her. Hmm. Why didn't we spot her? She's got one, two, three. Is the back pain easing? She's got, she's yeah. got five going down her spine, starting in the neck. The big that that odd one with the needle going through it, like it looks like a knitting needle. Yeah. And then she's got them going in the middle of her spine, going down, smaller ones. And she's got what on, on each hip. And then she's got the tracking device in her left foot. Is the pain eased off in your back? Fine. She gets something in her, in her fingernails. Your fingernails tingling? She's got, um, they're like black, almost look like magnets, but they're black. I've never seen these before. How wonderful. Is the pain easing in your spine back? Mm, it's moving, let's put it that way. It's more like tingling going upwards. Yeah, that tingling's me. Uh, giving you tingling in your back. <laughs> it looks like you have these magnets and these two fingers right here. 
almost like you they're see? round, they're round black things in the fingertips. They look like magnets. I'm not sure if they are. They look like hematite, the, the, like the they're silvery black, you know, the the um gem st the stone that yeah. that yeah. takes away neg negativity. Hematite, I think it's called. But they're yeah. they turn black and then they turn they turn that silver gray. They're they're turning different those two colors. I, I think when your body it's almost like you could like do these beams, like bolts of lightning towards people, like witchcraft. Like you do that with your fingertips. And it's like, it's weird. That's what it's showing me. Like defending yourself. Like you have that power. Yeah. Don't don't come near me. <laughs> You're zapping them. Interesting. Do you ever feel like you have power in your fingertips? Uh, no, not really. I mean, <laughs> I, I always sense the world, but no, not really. But what is very interesting is that uh, actually, it, it it was my first big healing. I killed somebody i mean he was clinically dead for five minutes and i didn't know i was not aware basically for three weeks i have been working on crystalline ones but interestingly enough they were in my field they were not you know i was working on them but kind of with distance so i thought that it was very weird that it makes sense that i couldn't you know kind of embody them work on them and then give them away any anyways so when Great. I mean, the guy's awake. I mean, I gifted them to his sister and, and he's awake. It's great. But it was very interesting that, you know, they were in my field and I thought that that's weird. Why are, in, am I not working with them, you know, inside my body? But I mean, I'm, if, if I'm full of shit, excuse my French. Yeah, it, it only makes sense. I can not. Yeah. Yeah, and thank you so much because I really realized that since our last uh, last talk about partner, you know, being open finally to a partner, and I felt the, this blockage. I mean, physically, it was like pressure in my back, especially my my like kidneys probably. Yeah. You know, betrayal. I don't know what. I felt it physically, and I was like, okay, that's that. There's something very wrong there, and then it kind of was clear that that it comes from him and. And then I started going backwards and all these men that were appearing and there was beautiful soul connection there, you know, and we will click. And like the next time I would see them, they would look at me like I was absolutely crazy. And like, yeah. you know, and it, it was so clear that it's really a blockage. And the same thing with money. Money absolutely. is energy and, and you could see how he's misusing it. Yeah. Yeah. And especially because he was so greedy and such a huge gambler. And I mean, he spent all my savings, basically, manipulating me. So it made absolute sense that that's him. Because he all you have to do is, is, is be grateful. But, you know, once this is all cleared up, just go back into gratitude. All that money will come back to you. So, and you've got to forgive him. Yeah. And send love to him. So he, yep. he breaks the contract. I've sent uh, a light language uh, upgrade on your auric field. So if any any energy comes into your this is new, you can all do this actually. Any bad vibes comes into your arc field, it gets returned to sender. So, <laughs> so yes. they get it, they get it. So uh so if anyone gives you any negativity, they get it uh, very badly. It depends how much energy they're sending. So anything they send will return to sender. And I've sent that in the arc field. And I'll, I'll, the implants are gone. I, I, I had to kill a being. What are those things in her fingertips, Phil? Oh, uh, yeah, I was looking at that. I, I actually saw some of it black. And I was, and they were like circuits. I can't work it out yet. I, I haven't removed them, you reminded me, but they were like circuits. And I can't work it out. Uh, 
Because mm. I don't know whether I don't think that's negative. I think that's I, I don't know if it's good or bad. It didn't feel it didn't feel negative. I think that could be some sort of power you've got. I don't know what they do. I have an idea. I, I, you... that's, that's to do with healing. I've just been told it's to do with healing. Yeah, it's, I think it's yours. I think they're yours. That's your power. But very strange method of healing. Yeah. It magnifies mm -hmm. it. It yeah. magnifies it. Yeah, very good. Thank you. <laughs> it's these, the two, it's these fingers. It's these fingers here. These two. Mm -hmm. So don't do that to people. <laughs> <laughs> it's powerful. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah. Now that that you keep on speaking, I yeah I yeah. Now, now I recall what what was happening. It's just that I was kind of. I thought it was fun. Basically, I I would go outside and I would just go like that with my hand and then I'll sw switch dimensions you know and suddenly ah. there is I have a picture posted and I have and I have a ladder you know materialized in front of me like one meter in front of me just going like that with my hand so that makes sense yeah. and now I'm recalling other things oh, do, you want, cool. do you want the oracle cards set your intentions uh, set your intentions okay. okay you're going to get some friendship you can't even make these up, really. There you have new love. There you go. <laughs> what was the last one? New, new love. love. <laughs> there we is broke. no... Okay. <laughs> we, we broke it. So you, you, that, that, I, that's what the cards were saying. And I do believe in them cards after a few years of using. They seem to work too well. Uh, Thank, there you. You go. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Can I just give you some healing? Because we haven't really given have we given any, any healing? We haven't really, have we? Do what? Give some healing to her. Healing. Well, I did. Well, I haven't. Okay. I, haven't. I was sorting I all the crap out. <sighs> You're only a minute. Please. There's a bit in your neck as well. Remember, you've got water, the warm water going through you feeling is from source creator and, and the, the electric feeling is from the angelic and the 22nd chakra thing that Phil does. Yeah. Drink a lot of water, bless your water, give it love, your food love, so that you're getting that extra boost into your system for the next seven days at least. Do it all the time, but. Do you feel that? I feel a lot of things and I see a lot of things. You have some okay. new beings you're working with there in your in your <laughs> right corner. You have it's it's portal, but it's very different. It's very it's different cool. to me normal. <laughs> we we changed over. I I got something from your very low back went into I don't know what that was. And uh, something in your neck. That was the uh, that that odd ball implant yeah. that has the knitting needle through. It looks like a knitting needle thing. Yeah. Those are the weird ones we're getting lately. Thank you so so. Uh, so, 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 so much. what were the beings like? I'd love to know. <laughs> yeah. What you 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 can see you can actually see the beings that people work with. That's excellent. Hey, you unmute. You're not allowed to tell us. One of my one of my aspects just turned your mute off. You're muted. I didn't hear you. I don't hear yeah. you. Yeah, you can't tell me. If you just went on mute, I, I, you can't tell. You can't tell the group. <laughs> yeah, I think my team just turned you off. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Re ready for the next. Yeah. Yeah. Linda. Bye. Hello. XOXO. The kissing fool. <laughs> it's good to see you, Linda. 
Oh, good to see you. Oh, just I've been going through the most bizarre stuff. I just don't understand. It's crazy. <laughs> Everything's crazy. You're not alone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She wants to scan and whatever we find, she wants it gone. <laughs> if it's not good. Right. <laughs> She's got some um, visitors in her house. You've got some uh, creepy crawlies. Yeah. You've got guests. Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, these are not. These are. <laughs> these are spiritual. Gremlins. They're not cats or dogs. They're not human. Have you felt these little creatures running around? Well, I don't know if the, there's a lot of these bugs, box elder bugs everywhere. They're not bugs. I, yeah, I don't know. I can go out grounding and feeling great and come home and I feel yeah agitated and yeah, that's because yeah. they're, they're they're agitating you. They're 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 controlling your energy. There's a lot agitating me. <laughs> <laughs> People, bugs, everything. <laughs> You've got some invisible implants, too. That's how they're controlling you. These are interesting implants. They look like um, clear bandages. Those are new ones. Oh. They're... So one uh, right above her root chakra and one on each butt cheek. Have I your permission to move? Yes. <laughs> yes. Have you hurt down there? Have you been hurting down in the lower area? Um, yeah. I've been spending a lot of time on my coat, rolling on a tennis ball, just massaging my butt and back. And, you know, and that's where that. they are. One on each cheek and one in your lower back. Like, right. Actually, it's like I just got a pain there. Like, like something just stuck me there. Yeah. And lots up through where my angel wings are still growing in. <laughs> and I've been getting headaches some. Yeah which isn't quite normal for me, but. Yeah. Your vibration's a bit low as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah just what it's just... Has your mouth been going yet? Have you been talking to people that irritate you? Beacon? No, I, I've been kind of avoiding talking to almost anybody. <laughs> uh, maybe you've been thinking it and not saying it. Yeah. So you've been yelling in your head. Yes. I can see you going, oh, you're such a jerk. Yes, <laughs> I've been doing that with my sister. Yes. I don't know what you guys have been doing, but I've been feeling like a lot of healing coming my direction as well. So thank you guys. <laughs> that that being that I, I'm working with is that Torian. Even though I'm in the drama to start season, it's clicking because I've been copying someone and I think they've cut come to my end <laughs> it's it's um even if you think it it's almost like saying it so yeah i know I... there it's the it's the being it's not you linda i want you to know that that, that when they give you implants they control and they they love to manipulate you so they're manipulating manipulating you and irritating you and doing the, their best to make you lose your temper because that feeds them your energy feeds them yeah, I don't feel I lose my I lose my temper within myself, but not expre right. expressing right. it. I guess and the same thing. Yeah, right. to them it's the same thing. Yeah, because I'm not feeling very all lovey and light, and I love everybody. No, well, let's hope we can get you that point today. <laughs> I'll tell you about take this. Take some deep breaths and just release it all because it's it's all going to make you feel better. Oh. Just letting it go and. I've, I've just they're, released they're, some back pain, by the way. You left back yeah. pain as well. It's come oh. over to me. Yeah, because they're they're not they're very annoyed that we're here.
Ooh, they just changed into rats. Because oh. <laughs> they really are rats. <laughs> My neighbors across the hall have mice. I don't. Yeah, well, these are their friends. <laughs> are you on the first floor? The on... sec second floor. Second floor. Yeah, it's just a sixplex building and oh. Are you in the middle of the building? No, there's two units on the front upstairs. I'm on the right hand side and there's Are uh, you in the corner? Yeah, it's a corner unit. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to figure out the portal. So there's someone below you? Yes, love a lovely couple below me. Uh, there's one real bitchy woman in the building that. Uh, You're not that bad. What? what a joke. You're not that bad. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Oh, I got my bitch. I got my bitch going on. <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of liking it in some ways. And they go through, I think they go through her bathroom, their bathroom and your bathroom. Well, the water connection. Yeah. They're above each other. Both bathrooms are connected to the pipes. Well, my neighbor downstairs, Gabriel, he's a sweetheart and his girlfriend. Yeah, he had to come help me a couple months ago when my toilet burst and my whole bathroom was flooding and oh, oh, oh my god oh. it's probably when they did the portal <laughs> I know. I'm at a point I feel I understand nothing. <laughs> Just... I know. It's all right. They just love to create havoc. Obviously, I've got two mirrors in the bathroom. Uh, the portal in the bathroom is gone. I've just sent some language into it. You haven't got two mirrors linked together, have you, in the bathroom? Two mirrors? That's, that face each, each other. No. All right, just checking. <laughs> I've got one at the sink level and then my big medicine chest one. But... Do, they, do they shine through each other? Do they no. face each other at all? No. Hmm. How do you feel? Let's feel really good. I feel better. I feel like I'm getting a massage in, in my. Oh. 
Yeah, but I've been feeling a lot of shit, like anger and people and the world, you know, just people messaging that I don't even know, like and bots and oh, it's, Oh, I feel, oh. I don't mind a bit. But... Uh -oh. Feels good now. Uh -huh. I can feel it. It feels good. My my healing's done. Have you heal done healing on her now, Phil? Yeah, I've done. Wait. Portals closed. Yeah, I sent some uh, light language into me and closed them. I found a quick way of closing them. Up. Yeah. Into what? Anyone. I, I, I found a way of closing a better way. Instead of normally okay. jump in and destroy everything. Great. So, but I've been told I shouldn't because that's just doing what they would be doing. Yeah. Only if only last resort. So. Okay. Do you yeah, want to give the, the cards? Well, the cards are saying I didn't. Before. I don't know. I don't want to take up too much time, but can you look into this man that came into my life last June and it's been incredible and so confusing and bizarre. I believe we've had past lives together. The connection online that we've had has been incredible yet. It's just online. It's not face to face. Yeah, just online, but there's I've had psychic readings and that he is so our, our love is so strong in the astrals and but he's he's secretive and I don't know for the longest time he would not do a, a even a video chat but he did a couple of weeks ago and we we spend incredible evenings together and yet the other day he blocked me after a beautiful evening and and then he hasn't been active online at all and i don't know it's just been bizarre well these are three cards i got i got look after your body body care what? physical physical body care yeah i also got truth and integrity and I got soulmate, so that's a bit suspicious, isn't it? The truth and integrity next to soulmate. Hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm trying to work it out. <laughs> I mean, soulmates, to my understanding, I mean, my brother, sister, mother, they're, so, they're all soulmates, not a... Not, no, no. You know, that doesn't mean a re romantic relationship. A soulmate right? is somewhere, it, it can be, but... It can be some of your same goals. Yeah. It's someone who's similar to yourself. And um, truth and integrity. Uh, if you 
you make mistakes, send it to the angels to sort out. It is a very contradiction. Yeah. I, I won't be surprised if that's it. I I always think of a soulmate as someone who's a companion together. I've always thought that. Mm. But uh, as you say, it can be someone that's very similar to yourself. Who you get on well with, which sounds like it. Um, that didn't really make much sense, did it? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, kind of not. It's one of your lessons you've got to learn. I can't, I can't give you the answers to that one. <laughs> yeah. Can't give you everything. Oh, we won't be oh, here. Oh, come on, it? Phil, come on. <laughs> Let's get another card and see what the fourth card is. You can say stuff on this one. So, truth and integrity. Make sure you don't make the same mistakes. Send it to store. Uh, so make someone who's very compatible and very similar to yourself. Right, tell them when to stop. You need some frequency, you'll find the answer. Yeah. Uh, listen to some music. Me? Spiritual, listen to some uh, spiritual music yeah. and uh, you should get the answer. Who's next? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Darren, put your name on the chat pane that if you want healing, honey. I'm sorry. Anybody that does is new at this, there's a chat pane. So put your name on the list. I know that Darren's new. Darren and um his wife need um healing today. So and I got a post from them. I, I just went to Facebook and I know they've got to rush off and it's important that they get healing. Um Sorry, Darren, I didn't realize that you guys didn't know to put it in the chat pane. Um, uh, Victoria's next. Hello, everyone. Hello. I wrote something down um, just now um, about what I want to um, get guidance for. A lot going on in your life, isn't it? There's a lot going on at the moment. Scroll. Oh, thanks. You wrote that down for for them if you need a scan. In the back, about the next. Okay. Yes. Victoria has a um has an implant on the heart in a shield blocking her so she can't clear clear herself or others and can't she can't see it or clear herself totally a lot to block um it seems to move around yeah she's uh she's been a lot attacked. of trouble yeah she's been attacked the last week or so or may is it two weeks well, I also got the three love the three letter word on me and a few other things. Yeah. It just comes uh, she has regularly. A, you have some missing time too. <laughs> Didn't you True. you're missing some time? And there's a black helicopter in the in the <laughs> anyway. Um she I think she was taken, Phil. So so we have some time missing that she woke up after the fact. So they cleared her memory. So we that's where the implants oh, come. Oh, they've added memory. So whoever visited you might not have visited you. you get yeah, I mean? so we, well, we've got some issue here and I know that she's got implants in her, so. Okay. What's that? So after the implant, Plant. They do something and I took else. out last night. She called because she was in a lot of pain with her monthly, and it was excruciating. And what I found in her was a ball that looked like it was all full of thorns. Um, 
it looked like a miniature what you would call egg. I mean, what do we call those things that that roll in the desert? Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. <laughs> but it was like small, but it was full of thorns. And and that's and when I took that out, did it ease your pain? I still had some pain going on with it. Um, the thing is that it sh my it shouldn't be. It, it's you know my thing is not behaving properly, and the blood comes out really fresh. It's as if they're doing internal organ damage or something's going on inside. You know the abdomen area. It's not normal. Yeah, it's affected my my cycle, if you know what I mean. But then again, from the summer, we had the the tiger claw and the Zulu weapon and, you know, the three letter word again. And yeah. that really threw, um, that threw me off for the first time in this carnation. I actually caught the, I actually caught the cold. I have never weakened to that low. But then again, also had um, a miscarriage, as you know, you know, I lost Chanel during that time, um, the chance of having her. Yeah. So, you know, all this is happening, I believe it was, in that time I wasn't thinking because I was in too much sadness from, from, from the, my connection with Chanel. I've seen her, I've seen, she came to me as a baby and showed me what was wrong with her. Her foot was, deep, was twisted and, because of that claw, the tiger claw. And if I were to give birth to her, she would come disabled with, her, you know, her foot sliced, um, her soul sliced, you know, partially off. It's, you know, and then I also saw her in her adult form, which is basically her angelic form. And she looks exactly like me when I was young. She's basically my next incarnation. I'm waiting. Um, I don't want to say too much here, but you know, I was quite saddened, um, quite saddened by by seeing that because you know me and children, right? especially my own. Then I had this morning. You know, I've been tearing going to sleep. The last last few days, you know, yeah. and um, so let's let's do a scan and and let's see what Phil and I and Rick find. Uh, I'm already giving uh, emerald green into your heart chakra. So you have to talk louder. I can't hear you. I'm already sending emerald green into your heart chakra. Do you still see that implant, or is it gone? I got rid of it. That's because it didn't. Why you were talking? I got rid. <laughs> it didn't feel as bad as it did yesterday in the last few days, but just today because I was able to go out because you know, it really threw my body off. The the last attack, or the last two attacks, or how many of it. <laughs> So this morning, after tearing a little bit, the lions came through, the lions, and they were loaning me um, their energy and support, the larynx, you know, the lions, they're literally lions, came through. I felt better after that. But I would like to know um, they had many chances from the men in black and other people over the years had approached me and I'm wondering, well, why now? Because, you're, because your, energy, your energy is low. You've never been this low. I've never been this low. And and I can't be too bright either because I've become too bright. I'm like a light bulb here, and that attracts a lot of attention. I I try to stay neutral because you know what happens on Earth here, everyone has to go through 
to their own source is saying you've got to get, get your vibration back up it, you've got to it, it, there's no there's no choice anymore can i can i ask you why are you neutral i don't get that why she's why frozen neutral? again uh, yeah. What vibration going into? Start to pick a side for you. You know, we can participate in the war. There is a war going on, and you can participate with polarity, right? Yeah. I chose not to participate in either. No, hold on, hold on. You are getting hold participated. On. You're frozen. They're attacking. They're but attacking the thing you. is, <laughs> but the thing is that they're attacking me. Yes, but I have yeah. to keep my vibration so high. You are participating, <laughs> even if well, you don't want to. Well, not like even if you don't not want like it, I you want are. to. But yeah, I know what pick you're it, saying. You gotta pick a side and you gotta defend yourself. You really are. Yeah. yeah. The, the thing is, why um what did I do? You allowed your vibration to get too low. Yeah. I mean, what did they do during that time? What's they've the purpose? Lot, they've, of tracking they've got me? Link, they've got links for you. The energy evaporating the energy, taking the energy. They they tend to attack me whenever it's when I'm bleeding. That time of the month, that's my lowest. And you know, and this time they hit me really hard because prior to um, you know, I was at a slightly lower point. You know, like I said, I wasn't happy with what I saw with, you know, with Chanel. And I'm still looking forward to one day bringing her in, if you know what I mean. She's testing my body. She's testing my physical body to see if she can come through. When is a good time? She's been doing that since last year. How do you feel now? Um, not much different. Not. No, is nothing connected to you now? Okay, so I was out in the yard yesterday with the crows, feeding the crows, and the crows went all crazy and then started flying over to my uh, front entrance there. And, you know, they're guarding me, they're protecting me. And they're, you know, I knew that some unseen force, uh, force um, cloaked being should have been there. I went in the house and I don't know when I got attacked. If you know what I mean, um, any idea? If that came right after the, because I went out only once, I had no choice to, I had to go out with my my father and um, with my family. And I was, you know, not protecting, not shielding myself at that time. It doesn't really matter. You need to, you, Father saying, Creator saying that you have to protect yourself by your vibration and your vibration being so low, even, even with your monthly, you still should, should have your vibration higher and stop giving your energy, stop giving your, your, um, your power uh, away. Oh, uh, that's exactly what I'm going. You got to defend yourself. Yeah. You're in the war. You can't sound mm -hmm. neutral because they're saying you're not neutral. <laughs> they, if, if you just stay, they're just draining you and then you can't defend yourself. You you can sort all this out. You have the power. You've got the power when you're A1 to sort it all out. Right. It can all go away. It's, yeah. it's, it's too late to be neutral at this point. Okay. Okay. Close again. I do know that. Phil, what is yeah. what is that round, round thing? I can see that now. What is that oh. round thing that I was round thing hmm? from the what? Well, 
Try again. Um, there was I was given I was given this gold thing. What's in there? Oh. Why was I given that? If you ever given anything by spirit, it's normally some sort of download, and it's for you, it's for you to open it. Normally I don't think it was by spirit. It was what your twin flame gave it to you. My twin gave it to me, but he came after the KT parade in front of me. It's like he handed me something, but didn't say anything. I'm being told it's some tech from the Moria. There you go. Some tech? Yeah, technology. He is, um... I, I originally, when he gave it to me, I thought that allows you to, to pour it out. Kind of like also a, a tracking device, like um, kind of like a, what do you call that? A little, what, what do you call that thing? Back in the day, if like if you're in trouble and, and, and you, he can, he can come to me when I'm in trouble. You, what, what would you call that thing? Uh, whatever that thing is called, if you know what I mean. Because what happened is um, later on, I went inside and saw the, you know, I was in the water with, with this, gi this gigantic prehistoric crocodile who was staring at me, not hurting me, and, and a shark and a, a river dolphin um, coming to me. These are all predators, but they came to me to play with me. And I understand this is the Lemuria, Lemurian energies. And I know that I know what I also have to do as one of the guardians of Lemuria. But the thing is, there's, you know, at that time, I didn't, you know, you know, it's a little intimidating to see this, this 30, this 20 something feet giant crocodile standing in front of you. So, you know, I, I inch out. And because I was a little in a, um, intimidated, I ran over to the shore and that's where he came. He came to me and protected me. It's like, it's like he, when he gave me that, he was there when I'm in trouble. So I don't think he's there to try to hurt me, right? He's probably got two sides too. What? Yeah. He's quite in the middle. What? It's quite in the middle, yeah. Yes, I know that. I know he's right in the middle. I know that. And I'm supposed to be in the middle as well, at least before, I don't know about now. Uh, they, they... No, you're not supposed to be in the middle. You're supposed to be taking care of yourself. You're not supposed yeah. to be in the middle of that. He needs to take, that's his journey. You mm. need to take care of your journey. That's this is what this is what father is saying to you. You have to take care of you. Your mm -hmm. your energy is so low. You're you let yourself get so ill that look at what's happening to you. You're getting implants and you're getting all you're getting attacked. You are not taking care of yourself. Yeah. You're giving yourself away. And then you then you then you're you're saying I'm in pain, I'm this, I'm that. You can't you, you are not supposed to be doing this. This is the wrong way. You have to maintain your vibration. You have to stay up here. You cannot let yourself go down so low. You have to, re, you have to stay up here and, and help, not go down. It all started with the summer. You know yes. what happened. Yes, and, and, yes. and you've never and, raised and yourself was, back up there. You have was, to get up here. It was too difficult because of the the the, the health problems that came with it. Well, it was like it was like stop I was doing having... it. Stop. You have to stop and get yourself together and get back up. No, stop nothing, what you're doing. nothing is too difficult. 
You are a vibrational being. It's not too difficult. You're making it too difficult by saying that. Let it go. Get all of your power. Work within your heart chakra. Get your tools from your heart chakra. Defend yourself. Anything dark comes near you. Send it to source or just send it away. You are well, allowing that... all this to happen to yourself and to him. You are allowing this by not focusing on you. And you're using too much energy protecting us. I'm being told that. You know, you got to, you're number one. You're number one. No, I know. You have to be. You have to be and number one. You, you, you can't sacrifice yourself. You're no good to anybody. You have to make yourself number one. This is your journey. And you can't help that, anyone. Listening. Yeah, listening. Listening to. <laughs> yeah. You could get rid of them just like that if you would like to. Get rid of who? All the attacks, everything. If you go within your power, go in with the art chakra, they won't even touch you. They won't even go near you. So, so is it wrong to say something like, I don't consent to 3D interference and stuff like that? Well, that's not very stuff. All these questions that you're asking, when your vibration was high, when I first met you, you would never, ever even consider asking these types of questions. You were because a way up here. You knew exactly what to say and what to do. All these questions, you act like a toddler, like the a thing, baby. The thing is that when I started talking like that, that's when they came. Yeah, exactly. No, when I when I uh, when I said I was not consenting because I never even bothered saying those words in the past. You know, I I learn as I go, and for me, it's when I said certain things and I started doing certain practice that the attention kept coming. No, so I don't know if no. I, if if that's that. Not I think, that's not true. So when so if I say that low is when they started attacking. When you let your vibration go down, that's not, everything, that is not true. You allowed your vibration co to go down. I remember you meditating and you glowed, golden. So, and your vibration was really high. So that's not true. You, okay, it's, yeah, you, it's up that. to you. It's totally up to you to get your vibration high. Go back to the way you used to do things. When you Don't give your power away. Don't give you power I have to away. I have to go to the restroom. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. I think you're giving your power away to your counterpart. Get your power back. Work within your answer. Yeah. My three full flames is still lit. But the thing is my um my mood, my yeah. emotional body has been suffering these last few weeks. The physical, bo physical body was having a lot of discomfort throughout after the, the attack on August, as you know. And it took time to heal because I'm still human. I'm still physical. And it was hurting a lot. I just yeah. never asked for healing for the, for the last two months after the situation took place. And it's still, my cycle has been thrown off because of the attack. And then when I, um, what you call having the cycle happen again, the physical body was having pain even before, like throughout, throughout, throughout the weeks, it was having pain. Yeah, I think you've got to work on your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. The lower one's chakra. Emotion, yeah, one's emotions, one's the, the problems, you know, your women's problems. So the sacral, the lower chakras, you, you need to get them buzzing again. Yeah. Is is that is that is that linked up to his chakras? Like um well, it could be, he... so you might have linked them. Yeah. I mean like we we both share, we're merged, we both mm. share energies. Well I and break it. He's I... suffering, I feel it too. I break it off a little bit. It's not doing you any good health wise. Break it. Just 
just close it for a bit. Yeah, I have yeah. been like distance since um the summer. We've been apart more so the summer, and you know, I was trying to heal the whole time. The, the um, your, your cycle problems is to do with your sacral chakra. Your emotions is your solar plexus. So these the solar chakras, plexus. Yeah, these two need to be sorted out. I had the I had those two issues um throughout the entire summer and fall, if you know what I mean. The the mm. two areas. Yeah, so we so, I think Deb, if we give us some healing on the sacro and the solar plexus and break if there's any link with a with your counterpart, just 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 stop it because you need to. Are all, the implants are gone now. By the way, what do you did you find out? Did you find out what the intention was for um, the escort from my higher self? They wouldn't have come for no particular reason. It has to do with your twin flame has to do with him yep he sent them or he's just linked to it it's a link to it i don't know if he sent them it's all to do with that and it, and it all it has all to do with your vibration it's all to do it i don't know what your what has what, what your twin flame is involved in i don't know You, you've got to be more positive. You've got to be more positive with life. Go for mm -hmm. it. Go up there. You, at the moment, you've got like fear and down and low density and all oh, that. <laughs> get that back. Get your power back. Get you it, need get to get that of, power back. Get rid of the. All right. You, you, nobody fact, can touch you. When you are that high in vibration, nobody can touch you. You've got to understand that. They're too low in density. But you have to get up that high and you have to stay there. Any idea what it's regarding? Why is linked to him? Why do you care right now? You have to get your vibration. You have right. to worry about you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what Father's trying to tell you. Hey, wait, wait. Wait. What I don't understand is this. What I don't understand is if they are meaning to really harm me and do really like let's How say, do you kill think me. they got it? You're They've linked gone into to someone. You're linked to your account. Don't break it. That's how they're getting in. They're getting you want that way. So you you say to break the connection with them? Break the spiritual, break the cord. Just break it. Get your power back. Yeah. You don't you need break, to. You, can you, you break a twin flame cord? Yes, you can. Yes. Easy. Just by intent, you can do. You've got to break it because look at you. About five months ago, you might have so it's draining you. He's probably infiltrated, and you don't even know because you're so low vibration, quite low at the moment. Okay. Well, I probably, I, 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 I kind of know he's infiltrated because he's been under, under a lot of attack. And you're linked to him, and, and you're part of it too. Why do you mm -hmm. think it's bringing you down? Look at you. <laughs> Look at all the attacks you've gone under. It's getting worse. You've got to stop. Like your house is protected at the front, but you left the back door open. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? <laughs> that's what it's like, yeah. I hope that's not the case. I thought the yard was, I had to mention the backyard from now on. No, uh, I don't mean, that's, that's like a, a saying. It's a saying. It's a saying. You don't, oh, okay. don't physically do <laughs> Remember, I I showed you there's those the lights. It's like a dome around my house. There's a dome over my house. Day and night, I can see it. Do you? It's not well, a shield. But it's not doing anything because you've got linked to him. 
So they've got a portal right to you, and you've got a shield around you to protect you that's doing nothing because. You know, so I have to remove remove this connection from. from yeah, there. definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's got to be you. I was trying to break it myself. I can't. You've got to do it. Right. Phil, Phil, you want to do a card for Victoria? Yeah, we've got to move on. We've got a lot of healings to do, honey. Mm. You've got to make this choice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got listening again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good card. Good card. <laughs> again. Yeah. Yeah. Good card. Meaningful. And got it. You got, you got harmony. Okay. What? What's the other one? Harmony. 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 If, you, if you do what we ask you to do, you'll get harmony. Yeah. I should do the tarot cards to see what happens if you don't listen. So, um, <laughs> all right keep us all right thank anyway. you thank you so much yeah we did yeah. i know it's tough but we love you very much and we know we know that you after all these years it is really hard when you get when right. it sucks to be in a twin it's all about spiritual growth and our own journey thank you so much okay honey you're welcome natalie oh hi <laughs> hi we saw it it's just that I, you may have signed in and not seen the ones ahead of you oh okay Awesome. When you sign in, uh, anyone that signed in before you, you wouldn't see it. Okay. How are you? I've been good. I haven't seen you guys in so long. I've been working uh, back in my nursing job, started February. So it's probably the last time I saw you is before I started nursing. I remember talking about that the last time around. Yeah. And uh, God, I was so afraid of going back, but I was guided to work ICU and I thought, oh my God, it's been 12 years since I worked ICU. Are you kidding me? And no, like I felt myself literally work with my higher self and like the Christ energy and literally connect with the higher selves of all the staff I would be coming in to work with and coded the ICU, the hospital and the staff members. And it's like, when I tune into like, oh, go a different job or something, anytime I get like frustrated, I'm like, no. I'm coded to this place, like literally. So I've been telling people, like, if you're afraid to like, to go back to the world of working, if you need to, like, there's a way to do it. There's a way to do it and to code. And it's like how amazing and powerful we are. And it's, it's really been good for me because I needed that social connection and the groundedness and, and to get back to work and out of my head and find the safety and and um, just to see the way that God works through people in very unassuming ways and how many beautiful Christ beings are among the normal people that are just nursing or doctors or healthcare aides or whatever. And they don't have to be like on the spiritual awakening journey or as a light worker to be a light worker. And, and it's, um, it's amazing. And there's a lot of light workers out there that don't know they're light workers. And uh, absolutely. And, <laughs> and I true. think, yeah, I just, I get frustrated sometimes in the spiritual community. It's like, there's so much division of like the awake and the unawake. I'm like, you have no idea how amazing these people are. And they're just boots on the ground doing amazing, thankless work. And it's just, yeah, there's been a few times like I've cried because it's like been really beautiful, you know, and and I feel myself I'll be on the break in the break room, like chatting and talking and on one level. And then I feel my my chakras connecting and my I be, you know, I'm, I work my higher self, the Magdalene self, you know, and sometimes Sophia comes in and it is the nurse, like literally. And I hear my voice change and I'm like it. And it's like, oh, Mary Magdalene, you've been the nurse in me like all this time yeah 
And when you think of how she worked with Christ, you know, patient to patient, when he healed his way and she came behind him and had bombs and potions and essential oils and plant medicine. And I'm like, well, of course, you know, and it makes sense. But anyway, like, it's just, it's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, I've helped patients transition, but I'll, I'll activate people or heal them sitting in the break room. And I feel myself working on them and, and it's like, and I'm just like one by one by one, I'm like working with people and handing seeds. And I'm like, we have to like, you know, help the world by being part of it. We can't like be in these isolated, you know, bubbles of. It's you can't spirit. have humanity if you're sitting in your house. Exactly. It, it, exactly. It's great how, it's, it's great how you, you're actually doing the spiritual work and the grounding work at the same time. I mean, oh, ground zero right. in ground zero actually <laughs> yeah and i mean and you know one of these days i'm going to be brave enough to actually get online and talk about covid because i am dealing with it firsthand and it's a legitimate disease that i have 30 years of nursing it really honest honest to goodness it really does affect people in a whole different way it really does. It's not your usual virus or pneumonia, yeah. but the Let's most not talk about it here because we don't no. want to be dinged. I know, but <laughs> yeah, the majority of people that get it are people that are like have a lot of other health problems. So yeah, like, like the like like the one thing that <laughs> creates it. No, no, not that. Um, that's a whole nother topic. But like people mm. with like that had polio or cancer or um overweight, heavy drinkers, alcohol, like the, like anything that weakens your immune system. Mm. Yeah. They like really, really sick. So, mm -hmm. but or anyway, that, or that sat there and said, I think I'll put that on my list. Not really but, yeah, no. of experiences I'm talking about before we came here. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah. There's people that just like, yeah, everybody Remember, we ask for experiences and those for are, sure. things. and I know I've had that with my own health with like lupus and even, you know, of like choosing yeah. health, whatever, but um, anyway, so today, yeah, I'm off. It's my weekend off and I've just been working a extraordinary amount of hours because it's been short staff and night shift and 12 hour shifts and um, started feeling tired and sick yesterday. And just got well, hit the by eclipses something. tonight. So um, yeah. I was out of breath this morning, walking from room to room, and I'm never out of breath walking from room to room. And I said to Rick, I said, "What's wrong with me? I yeah. can't get my breath." Yeah, yeah I, I was going to say, you know, we sat down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it's big energies. It's like a lot of um, big energies are definitely happening right now, and it's big timeline changes are, are coming in. And so, yeah, I just, I guess on one level, it's like this physical healing of like sore throat, like my throat's raw. This isn't my normal voice. I'm achy, tired, congested, like your usual. Cold. Have you felt, have you felt any, um, um, people joining you that have crossed over joining your body or have you felt any implants? Um, um I don't think, well, I don't know. I, I do a lot of planetary work. I'm working with energies and beings constantly, constantly. And I work with a couple of groups. Actually, uh, Phil, you worked with David and Wendy the other day. Mm -hmm. So Wendy's also part of this other group that I work with doing. And Karen, we do very advanced planetary work, like three days a week, four days a week. So I've been doing that and exhausted and then doing my normal nursing job and so doing a lot and got myself exhausted um you have a mary beth that's that's um <laughs> she's part of your pancreas she's joined your pancreas i have no i've never had a patient but that by that name Could have been another part of the hospital. Maybe they just wander. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I've been like um, a few times when I've been in a couple, two different rooms. The lights have gone on and off. The nurses have freaked out a few times. They're like, Natalie, what are you doing? Are you bringing guests? <laughs> some of them know. Some of them know what I do. Some of them. There's several that are like quite intrigued by what I do. They're like, Oh wow, you do that. 
And you have um, some interesting implants. Hmm. I also have a roommate that um, is like, speaking of twin stuff, he's, I've been told he's a twin, maybe a, like a fractal twin or some kind of weird, bizarre thing. I don't know, but he also causes havoc and um, we don't always get along and he's sometimes around other people that are not very good at clean energy. So there might be some things might come. I don't know if some stuff comes from that or so just keep that in mind in terms of the source of where I might pick things up if it's yeah at home through that or through the planetary work or through the hospital. So just so you know, those would be the three places. <laughs> Mary Beth. Yeah. She's like 46. Hmm. Well, I'm on, being that I'm ICU, I'm also part of the code resuscitation team. They don't uh, assign well, all of her. She of pancreatic cancer, which is why she's on your pancreas. Oh, interesting. She just told me that. Oh, I'm sorry. She needs to heal herself to let go. We haven't had an... Um, she needs help to cross over. Yeah. Mary Magdalene was here. <laughs> of course. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> of course she is. My middle name is actually Mary too at birth. So yeah, of course Mary's here. She's my higher self. Her my higher self. So does God torture people? What? You torture yourself. Mm. No, <laughs> of course not. You torture yourself through your own beliefs. If you read the Magdalene um, uh, Gospel of Mary, you would totally understand what sin actually is. It's sin against the self. You bring it all upon there yourself. There is no sin. No, but she explains what the definition of sin actually is. It's when you just hurt yourself. You go into it for you. When you step away from love, that's all it is. We create our reality. Mm -hmm. Even the one that seems like really horrific, it's all us. It's all our own doing. Okay, right. she's, she's released herself. She's but even done. though God can step in and intervene and <laughs> wants to he can't, he, just, he, can't, he there, cannot there is no there, you're looking at it completely the wrong perspective doesn't work we are we are source we, we are, are source. god yeah. we are our own keepers our own creators and our own healers I'm there is no life. them there isn't any no way there's a higher power that could intervene whenever he wanted to or whenever they want to no, no, well, there no, is no, there's like no. many expressions of god like it's, you know, there's mother, father, and then that fractals out into Sophia and then into Magdalene and others and mother Mary and many, many, many others and the archangels. There's, there's like steps, it steps down, you know, if, there, if it were true that the mind was God, then the love and light collective would rule the, the universe. So, and they would, they would be able to intervene whenever uh, we, yeah. the, this earth, we created this earth because it free was, will. it's a free will. It's a yep. free will earth. So it, it, this is where souls come to learn lessons. Some say it's an experiment. We created this world for a very specific purpose. It's not like yeah. this everywhere else. Yeah, the only problem with the earth is it's been corrupted a bit. Right. And that, that's why light work is here too. It's fallen into the wrong oh, hands and we're taking it back. And we're almost, yeah, we're 99.9% like, yeah. there, but I can't teach all that stuff. It's too complicated. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me just. It's corrupted a bit. <laughs> I think a lot. <laughs> Only by the corrupted people. They think they're in control. They're not. 
No, you know, their stories and their stories and timelines just are they have to play out, but it won't. They're gonna be gone. Natalie. Yeah. I'm get I'm getting that there's a source being aspect that you need to connect to. Hmm. Other than aspect. Sophia? Yeah. Because I already am her. Mm -hmm. um, there's another one. Another one? Oh. Another aspect. You've got two. <laughs> Feminine and or archangelic. I think it's male, actually. Pardon? Uh, if you've got the feminine, it'd be the male. It'd be the male. Balance, wouldn't it? It'd be Metatron. Yeah, Metatron? It'd be, the, it'd be the male version. To to balance your energies. Then it's Metatron? I don't know. I'll let you find out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably is. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling Metatron because I already mm -hmm. embody like parts of like, well, I don't know, Sandalophon's been coming through today, but uh, obviously Michael, Danielle, Gabriel, Raphael, like that's the core of who I work with. Oh, that's interesting to know. Then it would oh, be wow. the mother. It would be the mother father. Because hmm. Sophia must be balanced. Is, it must be balanced. Okay. Right. Sophia is the first expression out of mother. Um, Sophia is not mother, but she's the closest thing to mother because mother wanted to experience herself as so as source, as an, an expression, as an identity, as a a self, so to speak. So she's like the first expression of mother. That has majority of the mother essence, but not 100% of it, but almost all. So it would be Metatron. Yeah. When I asked Metatron one time to show me the beginning of, of creation, he showed me a tiny cube of light. And then out of it popped a little, like a flower, like representing like the, I don't know, it was just a flower. My, I've got a, I've never said this, I've got a ray, rainbow dragon aspect crystal yeah. rainbow dragon and she mm. you know, another she <laughs> they all all my eye vibrations are female so she said that source sent consciousness into lands into planet and so to create life and that, and she yes. chose and he chose and, 12 for the like the divine yes. race yeah yes yeah. i have that all written out and drawn already years from you've years got, you've <laughs> Years that ago, I'll, I'll show it to you. In fact, in fact, when you were doing the thing with David yes, yesterday, Wendy said something about having a vision of these 12 circles emanating out like small and then bigger, bigger, bigger. So mm. Fia gave me that diagram and it was the 12 rays. And I knew nothing about this at the time, four years okay. ago. And I had Sophia in the begin in the middle and then the 12 rays because there's like the multiverses and then the fractal universes or existences i don't know and it's and it's all in circles like what she described is what i drew years ago and it's all and then the, i chose like i just intuitively chose colors and i and then it was like oh and then there's the 12 initial like archangels the 12 that represent the 12 color rays um and the rainbow and the dragon so michael and i created all the grids and like and they're not all powerful your mind is god and so we we created like the um, how would the original group? beings not be all powerful well, they are well didn't you just say that they're that your mind creates your own reality well it does it's both true but the the original beings would be all powerful so how would that even be true I don't follow what you're saying. The original beings are powerful. Well, the but, original the beings power, are... but the power, what we have to understand is humans. But you guys so just said that they can't intervene. Current... I mean, it doesn't yeah, make can, any can sense. I, can I answer that? The original beings are conscious of source. And we are aspects of source. It's, it's exactly it's, what it's I was like just going to say. It's, it, we're one. one. Yeah, we're one. <laughs> so We're just a fractal of that light yeah. so it's like it's like i the analogy i use is an aloe vera plant you've got the mother plant we're like a bunch of little teeny tiny you know okay. fractals off of that same plant that's all we are when you recognize that you're part of that plant then you're like oh i'm over here i'm not just this little tiny thing i'm like this little tiny thing that birthed from this big massive thing 
Yeah, we're, we're like a, we're, I have it within me that knowledge and wisdom from the beginning that you're I not look, separate from. Yeah, I look at it as the old body. We're a cell in that body of source. Absolutely. Source of the body. Yeah. Uh, or the finger mm. of of it. You know, a hundred percent. There's no. I wish I was that big. <laughs> yeah, but but back to the the dragon. So like it like I work. My, Michael had shown me like, and they had shown me like the meditation so the grids like we work with like there was the 12 dragons you're exactly right there was a 12 dragons and michael and mary slash sophia and then there was a group of like 12 riders 12 grid workers and the 12 dragons and you create the grids and then you the light and the consciousness goes into the grids and once the grid is there with consciousness that then allows a planet to have life so when a planet when we create the planets like when we do our source work then the dragons go in, you know, with the the angelics and you create the grids and then over time, then life, you know, it, it's, it's like having blood flow and a heartbeat, you know, in a body so that body can have life kind of thing is how that works. It, she, she actually said that the first beings, the crystal beings actually, but the first physical were dragons, the big, big thing, the first big beings were dragons. It came before everything yeah a hundred percent yeah i they taught that to me directly about when i first started doing grid when i realized i was a grid worker and gatekeeper six years ago i think phil yeah about. and it just like i never was part of these groups i didn't know anybody online like i just literally it just started coming to me and this information direct and in meditation and then i would go down to the grids and i'm like oh my god there's like 12 dragons around me i have like a crew of 12 dragons i'm like what the hell like this is amazing and then and i would just see everything like lit up and got all this information and it was amazing absolutely my, amazing. my crystal source being twisted the grids it sprang them and the old little <laughs> yeah she, she told me don't bother doing it you're, you're no good humans are no yeah. good let me do it <laughs> yeah well, and then we activated all the Christ, Christic grids last year, or I don't know. I get the timelines mixed up, but yeah, we've activated them. But anyway, so I have to bring in a source male being yeah. self. And I want to heal myself. And then there's also a doctor I work with that I'm curious about that I'm told a teacher, a spiritual teacher is like, oh, there's somebody you work with that's really interested in you. And the only person I can think of is this doctor that I feel this really beautiful connection to. I don't know, but. Are you there to wake him up? <laughs> Am I? You might be. It sounds like it. Yeah. Mm. Maybe you guys can tune into that connection. And then also whatever implants I have to heal that and help this yeah. virus okay. be short-lived. Speaking of which, I blow my nose. Ah. The implants don't look like they're completed. Oh, that's interesting. That's good. They look like they're in the process. Huh. How did I get them? I want to say a hospital. Mm hmm. I think you got it through healing. What? You were healing someone. I think you picked it up. Uh, you do. Yeah, you've got a you've got an Actorian aspect as well. Yeah. I have a what? Actorian aspect. Oh heck, heck yes! Every yeah. day they're with very me. Very powerful, yeah. Very, 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 very yeah. constantly. Yeah, the Arcturians are always one with me um I, I was going into the akashic and one followed me <laughs> so, <laughs> checking me out yeah <laughs> baby 
uh, and they often, I think you might've commented, I think you commented on my post when I asked if anybody had experienced Mother Mary with the Arcturians at simultaneously, because they almost always come together because she's part of the Arcturian, like the Blu-ray like collective as well. Anyway, she often comes in as Mother Mary, but then it's like simultaneously Arcturian. It's kind of cool. And she's so beautiful. Can you feel that energy? Uh, I like to work with Christ Conscious in the 22nd second show. Platinum Ride, what you do? You got a shoulder pain? No. What was on your shoulder? It's just come through. I always have odd sensations in the left side of my lower rib cage, upper abdomen. But it's a sensation of a consciousness, not pain. Mm. Oh, Mary Magdalene just gave me a code to work with. They give me codes. Often that's how they heal me is they just put codes in my uh, field and then I pull them in and I know what to do with them. And then I use the codes to heal myself. That's often how it works. Because I am a code reader. Oh. There's your Christ consciousness aspect. Mm. I also work with Victoria, like, even though I'm an Andromeda star, so you don't, don't ask me why. <laughs> Andromeda? I'm an Andromeda star seed and I work with that. So I was watching this this lad who does the, uh, I, I love the singing Andromeda. bowls and I saw him merge with his Victoria during plant, you know, using the plant seeds and he vibrates. And as I vibrate, that language comes out. I've been copying him and now an Victoria works with me because I'm using their their system. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's, you have lower back hip issues? Yes, I do. I have arthritis in my uh, left hip. I think both my hips, but my left one yeah. more. In fact, to the point where I, I'm going to need a hip replacement. Um, but it's gone right now because they gave me a steroid shot that actually worked miracles where I could actually walk. So the pain's been gone for three months. But low back is just tight and sore from work and not having, not taking care of myself and not doing like yoga and stretching and going for walks. I've just been too tired just to take care of my body. And so, yeah, my low back has been sore and tight and that goes into the hips feels very muscular i'll try and fix i'll try and work on you try and refix it be great not to need a hip replacement yeah. genetics crappy genetics yeah that's because when they made us they didn't make us quite well yeah, I, I feel like we should be on the I feel like they screwed me up, honestly. I don't think I was supposed to be as sick as I tend to get. I'm going to share this with everyone. And the Arcturians are giving me some codes to heal with. This is um, a thought form. This is Archangel Raphael's thought form. This got the heart in the middle. If you could just imagine that with any part of your body or your whole body. It is a white orb right here. Then the blue orb. And then the emerald green orb. You place it, the white orb first, then you overlay it with the blue orb and then the emerald green orb over any part of your body or your whole body. 
And that is a thought form that you place over. And that's a healing thought form of Archangel Raphael. That's what you use to do healing. Okay. That's gorgeous. I will give that too, but to, I know it's got the heart in the middle. If you can just imagine whatever body part. Yes. Put that. Beautiful. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. In. I will share that at the, the webpage on our website. For okay. No, I've, I've tried to add cartridge to your bits and everything. So you, can you inform if I've done fix that? Yeah. What's you that? Feel it. If you if it, if you don't need any replace it, if after the steroids wears off, if it's still up, if it's fine, yeah. Yeah, keep me informed. Because I, I just re, I just remote viewed your yips and I added cartilage and I've added uh, it's like worn away, isn't it? It's worn away. So I've been trying to give it. It's a like what? Mark. It's worn away a bit. That's yes, why it's osteo. Yeah, it's osteoarthritis in the left. So yeah. I've been trying to put cartilage in there. You know, thank regrow you. it, regrow it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you for picking up on that. Kind of had forgotten about it. Yeah, because as soon as that wears off, you won't forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a painful injection, but I put it off for a year. But let me tell you, whole, best thing I ever did because I could barely get in and out slide like your hip laterally to get yeah. in and out of my van it was just like yeah. it, oh the pain or walking you, just you, were, you were very you were very lucky because steroids is the look of the drawer in it it either works or it doesn't so you were yeah very lucky it worked. well I mean they they did it all under fluoroscopy like so they know they're going in the exact spot so it's not a blind thing like um that good day. <laughs> yeah only took 10 minutes to do but uh it was june 28th i got the shot and it's still working w wonderfully that's so you're very lucky for that yeah well everybody like there was an older gentleman there that was uh we were there's like they do four at a time and we we're all in these little cubicle waiting rooms in our <laughs> hospital gowns waiting and there's one guy's like ah, i've had it before there's nothing to it it works like a term i'm like all right and everybody that was there had had them before. They were all like excited to go in because they were like, they know how good it works. So I was like, cool. All right. Always remember to do the, the um, water after the healing. Yeah. Energy got, stays for seven days. Your cards, go ahead. Yeah, you got signs. So I think you're going to get some signs to all oh, this what we've been saying so i think you have you asked for help often you've asked you've asked your beings to help you uh, and they're telling you to look at the signs i guess sometimes yeah. i do they'll give you signs i've just been connecting with the actor in one version quite amazing <laughs> i think it's giving you am i activating you <laughs> i don't know <laughs> probably um and did this Mary Beth person go on her way? Yes, yes she's gone. She's gone. Good. Yeah. And no more implants. Implants are gone. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, she. I did her first, so she was gone. Okay, thank you. Tell you and but, then, can yeah. you tune into this um, doctor that I work with? If am I supposed to be having like a intimate like? Because I get messages like, oh, you guys are going to like get married. Like, there you, there you go. True love. <laughs> or new love. New, new new love. love. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the cards are saying something there. I just mm. picked that out and I thought, mm, that's an interesting. And you talked about that. I just picked, the, picked it up. You picked it up before I said anything? I picked it up as you were saying it. As I was saying it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll leave, that, I'll leave that to your journey <laughs> well i have a higher self connection with him like we we work together and we talk together and i feel he's got like this angelic part of him aspect i think he's actually angelic he just doesn't real doesn't know it hmm. i don't know i can't tell you that without a picture oh 
I have a picture. He's actually, he's, and he's very much in the media. <laughs> he's, um, well, your local media. Uh, well, he's like a doctor of prominence. You, you want to send and they, it to that? And they uh, um, interview him sometimes, like, because he's like the director of one of the ICUs. I don't the, watch TV, so it wouldn't matter to me. No, no, I know that. But I'm just saying locally, I'm just saying like he's somebody of importance because they interview him for, because he's head of transplant and um, and he gets interviewed. I can send it to you, Phil. So I can't, yeah. uh, it's not showing up on this. But um, uh, where's my screen? Why is it taking so long to find? Oh, come on, seriously. They changed my phone. Like there's a, oh, screenshots right here. Okay, here we go. I have seen him before. That's weird. He's are you in Canada? Are you in Canada or the United States? Canada. He's a prestigious doctor. Like he's very well known. Everybody knows who he is. So it, it, it wouldn't it'd be a big deal like dating him. Okay. Like he got divorced like a year, couple years ago, I think. Good luck. She thinks I don't I think I don't know that's why I was asking like for understanding good luck he's this got counts. a beautiful beautiful genuine heart like he's very well respected and he's like very sincere very genuine very compassionate person very and along with being very intelligent very humble extremely humble very gracious What were you gonna say, Phil? I'm, I'm not. I was just gonna huh? pick. I was gonna pick a tarot card and just see if it's the same as oh. the oracle. <laughs> if you want me to pick one. Sure, I don't care. But if that as was in. your question, what was it? I can't That's see it. Prince of Discs. I'd say that was him. Prince of uh, what? Discs. I'd say that's him. That's it. Queen of Wands. That's that. That's probably you. And the next one. Oh, that's you. Uh, indecisive that one. <laughs> <laughs> I have done I have done these since I was about seven. That's all good. We'll talk the, oracle, later. the oracle cards are saying that with new books. Yeah. So yeah. go for it. Yep. He's a beautiful person. Go. You got one life at the moment. <laughs> go for it. Well, you got one life. Matter of perspective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How are you feeling anyway? You should feel pretty good. <clears throat> Lighter. Good. Or more vibrant, more uh, like less bleh, foggy, less uh, heavy feeling. Good. You should feel lighter. All those things yeah. are gone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. Yeah, can I just send you a little bit of energy from 22 Dimension? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. That might be under night if Yeah. Just for a few seconds, because it's definitely yeah. painful. Mm. No, that'll do. <laughs> Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm playing with it. That's why. <laughs> I'm every time I do it, me uh, body can hold it more. So it's great to. Well, we'll have to get together and just do some energy play, energy playing yeah. stuff because right. I've I've worked up at that high level too. So I, I saw celestials drumming. They didn't drum. Yeah, yeah amazing. <laughs> Well, it, it, they weren't physical, so it was a bit weird. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent work. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.
thank welcome. you source thank you source beings of divine love i'm asked to say i feel great, source beings. great. Yep. awesome next is diana hello hi diana hello. um so i saw you guys on Soulgy um not long ago and so i started just following you and watching videos on healing and um and so i was really happy to see the facebook post um about this session and so i signed up um i started my journey maybe two years ago mm -hmm. yeah. and um I we've guess all I been there we've all <laughs> except, except for philip We've all been there. <laughs> I, I, I that was too. <laughs> Philip, Philip is the exception to the rule. He's a walk-in. So mm -hmm. Philip, we just push to the side and say, yeah, okay, go ahead, go over there. The rest of us, the rest of us have all started off as newbies. So mm -hmm. what's, yeah. a, what's a walk-in? It's uh, my buddy died when I was born for four minutes and I walked in. Uh, so the original spirit is gone and I'm the new one. So I haven't got the codes of gods or anything like that. Uh, I'm, I'm not signed up to anything apart from the agreement I had with Source before I got in. Yeah. So I've got memories. I've got a lot more memories, but the brain can only hold so much anyway. And it was brain damaged when I came in. Hmm. Yeah. And I, my first language was light language. So that proved that I had brain damage to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a good sign if you speak in light language when you're three or four. Not a good sign. Because I had tests till I was about eight. So they ended up diagnosing that I was, my brain was okay. I was just very rebellious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Continue, okay. Continue, Diana. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess I become more aware about myself every day. Like I, I used to think um, I don't have any traumas. <laughs> I don't have anything to heal. I'm, I'm great. Um, and then slowly I was like, oh, that's a trauma. Um, <laughs> and then just <laughs> finding out um, how to heal and how to look inside and how to tune in. Um, so um, yeah, I think I would love maybe like a scan. Okay. Um, and any guidance as to how to continue my journey. All right. um, the, card, the, the card says study. Study? Study. study. You need to do more study. More on study. Your journey. More study. How does, how does one do that? Because I just trusted in. in look, um, look for new skills. That's what it is. New yeah. skills, spiritual skills. Okay. So right now I tune in to um my higher self that's my team thing. i i i do it as well i i i um i tell my higher self i'm ready to receive after i just do breath work and the at first time i did that i got a huge download um i do i do decrees i have a hard time um uh, meditating i my mind wanders i go all over the place so I have de decrees that I do. I follow Christine Preston, who's my teacher. She was the first one we did healing on today. She's on Facebook. She, um, she's brilliant. Um, that I, I did hear you say that in one of the videos, but I'm not familiar with decrees, really. I was it just like a, an intention? They are a written word, and I, I say them at least three times each. They're a written word that, that activates the archangels to, to do work. Um, you have guides. Everybody has guides and angels. You have angels that you have chosen before you came here, before you incarnated. And you have guides that you also ask for. But all of us have at least 30, 32, 38. Some of us have even more. Um, yeah, Philip, be, has, I, I call Philip, has, Philip has an army because he's a bad boy. Um, and he <laughs> needs to be... He, He's a warrior. He actually goes. You know, uh, an healer said, "Why have you got so many people?" Yeah, I said, "Well, I've got two teams. I've got the warrior team and the healing team, and you need both." <laughs> he needs both. 
<laughs> but but like I said, there's not a lot of people like Phil. Mm. You know, Rick and I um, are are healers, but we won't. We weren't always healers. We were. We didn't know that we were healers until we woke up. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I guess I tune into my higher self and then other guides and then my highest as well. And I I learned how to use the pendulum. Then I learned, um, I asked for internal guidance. And so now when I close my eyes and I tune in, now my body rocks as if I was the pendulum. And so that's, that's how I ask questions. A good way how I do it, you have a you might have an aspect very close to you, yeah, who wants to give you information. And so long as you're hundred percent it's part of your oversoul, uh, I what I do, I partly merge with mine to get the knowledge because I might be walking, but I can only hold so much knowledge, but these aspects hold the knowledge from their life. And that's how I I find things that hasn't been invented, you know, no one knows about it here. Which is great, yeah. Uh, but the the recent ones, the Actorian ones, I didn't even know I had them. That's because I've been playing with that too. <laughs> uh, do so. you do healing? Um, I have been following someone who I took I took healing courses. I think I do. Um, so I I listen to some videos to activate my light body, and um, I just I don't. I don't really feel energy as much, um, but that was the one time that it actually activated something in my hands, and I actually feel like when I feel energy, I, I feel it in my hands. You okay, want me, that, you want me, you Devin like? Rick? Yeah. yeah. Do you want me, Devin means... Rick, to activate that more? Would sure. Yeah. Because yeah. I felt like you uh, that you felt like that was your calling that you want you were a healer because. Yeah. I think in the past, we have 12 ancestors around us, and uh, they're all shamans, and we are shamans from another, we're from Sirius, and we brought other shamans. You are also sh from Sirius, because <laughs> I, yeah. like, I felt like you were related to us. Oh, wow. Uh, and that the ancestors all went, uh, she's a healer, she's a healer, she's a healer. <laughs> and I didn't know whether that's what you knew that you were. Um, but you are certainly, and I thought I saw you as a Native American in another life, yeah. shaman. Um, so yes, <laughs> you yeah. definitely are a healer. They are, they want to activate you even further today. That would be great. Yeah. I'm so getting, I'm, a, I'm getting messages from them. You have Native American guides. You have four. Wow. My grandmother, so I'm actually Colombian from South America, and she was, if, if I showed you a picture, she looked very native, like her nose. We all have She was Mayan. They're telling me she was Mayan. Okay, that's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, what, what, what I wanted to say is that most people, when we start healing, they use earth energies. You can use any energy, literally any. And the energy you use relates it to the patient. And what happens is as you're channeling it in, it goes into like a little thing in the back of your head, like a box. And then it goes through either your nervous system or your blood, and then it goes into your little fingernails, your little fingers here. And that's what you were feeling, weren't it, on the edge of your fingers, like a vibration coming out. I feel it in like the heart of my palm. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. And, and just yeah. trust what the ancestors say is trust all of this. Trust messages. With each person, you will be told, you'll be given the messages what, what to do. You will be taught. And every time it's, if it's a new illness, you will be taught. You'll be shown. The messages you get will be in your own voice, but you're still channeling everything you need. Always trust. Don't ever be afraid to, to heal somebody. Always know that they will guide you with everything you need. Everything. Yeah. You don't ever have to be afraid of. Don't be intimidated at all. Just go into your heart and stay there. This is your ego. Your ego is going to say, you can't do this. If you stay in your heart, it'll always come to you, all the messages. So always um, prepare to prepare yourself and always go into your heart space when it, when it comes time to, to heal people, because this is your ego. This is your, this is your toolbox. Mm -hmm. when, yeah. If you ever have doubts, you're blocking yourself. 
I, I actually, I was healing on Tuesday, some of them were broken hand, and I fixed it in 20 seconds, and it was fine. They were going to go to the hospital. You didn't need to. I fixed it because I knew it was possible. But as soon as you think it's not possible, that's it. It's gone. It stops. You, you're building a wall. Yeah, I try to be very aware of when I get doubtful because I know that doubt makes you waver. Mm. But um, I guess um, I, I get more, it, it's more interactive every time. So when I first started, I was told my own higher self blocked my third eye. I don't know mm. how that <laughs> works out. Higher self would yeah, never no, no. block your third eye. But you would block by thinking that. <laughs> Yeah. Creating your higher blocking. self doesn't block anything yeah. your higher self is only good only love only good they don't block yeah. uh, unless it's a negative thing <laughs> remember you've got free will even from your highest self people don't realize that you're in control of that body they're an higher self part they're, they're not you've got experiences how you've got to make all the decisions i was i was going to say this I use the pillars of light for each dimension, and each dimension's got eight shak eight major chakras. So we're in like the now. So you, you use the pillars of light to go into 4D, and it's like then 5D where Christ conscious, and you can go all the way up to the 22D. But if you're just learning, you can only go so far, probably 6D, and it starts it's painting your bones, it starts crystallizing it. So that's what I'm saying. So we upgrade your healing there. Yes. It well, takes some, you feel take it. some deep breaths to just relax so that we can get the um, the energies going through you. It's almost like a waterfall going into your crown. It's all different colors of energy right now. It's white diamond energy. It's golden energy. It's blue. It's it's all the colors. You may feel heat. You may feel vibrations. It's really powerful. Your third eye is open now, wide open. Your throat chakra is open. Can you feel that? I feel my crown. Mm. Yeah. Did all the your third eye's wide open now. And even your throat, it, it, you had a blockage there. It wasn't totally blocked, but you had a blockage. Um, your your root chakras uh, had a blockage too. So all of your mm. chakras are going to be spun and uh, opened. No, they're all there. The other ones were open. They just needed to be aligned that throat chakra you got to say your truth more often yeah you don't like speaking that much so many questions about that because <laughs> yeah. i i think i have to balance it with um mastery of emotions yeah. like speak your truth but also be kind and loving the, and that's the, what sometimes yeah. Sometimes I, I have the same problem. I'm very truthful and I just blurt it out. And it's sometimes like my delivery is bad. <laughs> I didn't really want to say this, but someone doesn't like you and sending you bad vibes and I've, I've sorted it. So I had to do a lot of work on it. And that could be why you're getting blockages because there's some negative energies coming through you. Have you got anyone that you think of that or not? 
there is someone who is um she doesn't really own up to her own uh, the own her own actions yeah. um and i don't know how much i i'm sure it's unconscious behavior but mm. um it's just it's yeah um she's not going anywhere and i don't know how to best have that relationship um well, one thing now you and Ely, you can return to send out any bad vibrations one thing you can do yeah just by Sorry. intention return to send out any bad vibrations that people give you let, let them have it it's their lesson you can send it back with love yeah okay with, yeah like in an envelope return to sender yeah lots of love and then when they open it you know that's their lesson they shouldn't be doing that anyway. I don't know how much she's aware that she's doing this because it's it's hurting her. Um, it's hurting you too. Yeah. yeah. Where does Which she is go why, with? You, why you have to return it with love? Because okay. it you know it it does give you blockages too. So you, you, know, you have to put a put a protection up like a mirror facing out, so yeah. that it, it bounces off you and goes back. But you want it to bounce back with love. Mm -hmm. and what you can do just do some light language privately just make it up put intent in the words and put it into the auric field to return to sender uh, and remember to never not like anyone love everyone yeah, yeah. have you had have you got any trauma you're trying to sort out trauma child, child trauma I was um I was pulled away from uh, my grandma who was yeah well, <laughs> okay so I'll, I'll tell the story so my mom is a very difficult person and so I was with my dad until the age of five until um my mom decided she wanted to live with me and so then I went to live with my mom but then I couldn't see my grandma or mm. my dad well, or... that, that child trauma it is trauma whatever you say it is that creates blockages and you've got to like do healing on your inner self your younger self you got to, you can go down in fact let's do it now so right. I think the best thing would be maybe um grief for yeah. my grandma because I never really connected with my grandma again the same way that that unconditional love that I felt from her when I was a, when I was a kid and I can I can recognize it now because I have a little one and I just think yeah. of my grandma Mm -hmm. well, you, you you can you can release that trauma as a child to go back in your timeline and say to your inner child your, your younger self that you're going to be okay you're going to have your own child Do you know what I mean and and coax back because it might have fragmented your soul a little bit it might have damaged it a little bit sort of sort that out yeah. yeah it came up it came up so obviously it's there yeah, I've given, uh, so I, I believe I have an Arcturian aspect, so I've given my inner child to my Arcturian as well as a way mm -hmm. to heal. It's a different way of doing it. <laughs> just, just pass it on. <laughs> it's, what you should do is go to your inner child and give yourself a big hug. Okay. What you, what, what you can also do, you can write to your inner child with your right hand and your reply will be your left hand. Okay. And then whatever happens and everything then go to a sacred place and burn them there you go so it's a, the energy's gone right. i'm on the roll tonight <laughs> hmm. uh, so, uh, are we doing healing yeah yeah yes thank you Remember this healing always lasts seven days and your body just absorbs it in. Drink plenty of water. Bless your water with white energy, the words love or just give it love. Same thing with your food so that then you're just consuming it, all that love into your body.
You may have felt like warm water going through you. Yeah, I feel high, like my whole body's vibrating. Yeah. <laughs> Your body is vibrating. You're probably going to get some upgrades tonight. Um, so some downloads tonight. So you're going to get upgraded some more with downloads. Thank you. I normally get to see images when I first wake up. Like they, they flash images right before I wake up. Mm -hmm. And I just try you to remember. You thought your third eye was open, was closed. See, <laughs> third eye was never closed. Okay. <laughs> you know, as a, as would, a child, if your third eye was that. if your third eye was shut, you would never wake up and see images. Okay, are, you, are the images like shooting at you? Because I used to get as a child different images, oh. it? and it's going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, the yeah. last one I got was really funny. It felt like a rhyme, and so mm -hmm. it, they were like uh, trim, not nm, um, not nanometers. It's something to do with what I do, but I, I just thought it was really really funny the way that like <laughs> it was a game you can also ask if you did if you don't know what it is i always say why are you showing me this what is it what is the meaning of this message or why am i seeing this yeah so, okay. I, yeah i've been i've i've had a few the last few weeks and i never remember anything i never see anything i wake up in the morning and i'm i'm awake and i, I ground myself before i get out of bed and i get out of bed Mm -hmm. I don't always get images. It's only when I have events where I'm doing energy or um, when there is going to be an event coming up. Um, other than I that, know, I have no idea why I get my when it happens. Uh, that's probably some guidance. So. It's, there's uh, some, yeah. Yeah. Well, I used to. I I get these videos. I call them all images. And once I start thinking, we go. Just don't think. <laughs> Use your heart chakra to think. And then I had okay. my grandparents a couple of years ago came to me in a dream. Yeah. And they had my grandfather had a big newspaper in front of them, and there were all these articles, and he was reading them to me, and I didn't remember what they were. He told me about all these events. But um, and so I went to a friend of mine that was that was a channeler. Um, Kyle knows who he is, and uh he he wouldn't tell me what the events were, but he said, "I will tell you that I see you and Rick holding each other." When, and all these all these events happened in the last couple of it was three years ago, I think. And uh, now I know what all those events are because a lot of things have happened. A mm -hmm. lot. I mean, there were deaths and sicknesses and all these things, and I and I understand why he didn't tell me. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I understand now, uh, how we are aligned. Cause I always ask my higher self if I am aligned to a healing or a session or, um, and I, sometimes I'm surprised cause I'm like, oh, I thought, you know, this would align and it would just say no, no. But, uh, with you, it's always been like, yes, yes, yes. And I'm like, okay. And now that you're mentioning, you know, everything that you're saying, yeah, I believe that you are a uh, part of our family. That's beautiful. I really enjoy the space. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for all the work you guys do. You're Thanks very so. welcome. One thing, Deb, I was just going to say, if you're a meat eater, remember, when you're blessing your food, you're actually removing the trauma from the animal, sending it to source. I just wanted to say that. Did you hear him? I could barely hear you, Phil. I shall say it again. I don't know. It must be me. I must be speaking light language. No, <laughs> no the volume's down or something. No. There must be another volume or something. Yeah. Our, our air conditioner is on. It's right next to us. <clears throat> How's that? Is that better? Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay. I was just saying when you're blessing food, you're removing trauma from any, if you eat a meat eater, yeah. and you're sending the trauma to source and you're giving the animal love. Okay. okay that's good to know thank you welcome it's great meeting you same <laughs>
Okay, let's see. Sam. Sam, sorry. There we go. Hello. Hi. Hi, sorry. I'll just move room. Thank you for coming to me. My daughter might come in for bedtime in a minute. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> this is my first time on. So Elaine invited me to join. And I'm a little bit un uh, unsettled and frazzled. And uh, I go through stages of clearing and grounding and all that. And then I don't feel settled where I am here. So that's why I'm on tonight. <laughs> Okay. Where are you? Is it are you up north? <laughs> I am, yeah. How can you tell? <laughs> yeah, I'm in I'm in Yorkshire. Okay. Yeah, I'm in uh, Lancashire. Stop for yeah. yeah, something right here. Do you feel pressure right here? Yeah. You got some kind of implant, but it's a weird one. It's it's really dark black. Kind of looks like a marble. You've got one here. You've got one here. They're, they're going to all the chakras. She's got an implant on all her chakras. Wow. Chakra spaces. Wow. They're all like a black marble. I've never seen these before, Phil. Mm. You have a pain on your arm, by the way. I just had one. Oh, that's connected. Pain you have on, pain on your arm. Uh, uh, on my arm. Yeah. A yeah. pain in your arm. There, yeah. Right upper arm. Oh, they just grew legs. They got, they're spiders, Phil. Phil they're spiders. Mm -hmm. Ugh. They just I'm, give me goosebumps. <laughs> it, I'm not being political here, but I've, have you had the... No. No. Not have you had an injury the last two years? No. Can't work out how you got that. Okay, now a huge, this thing keeps changing. Her whole spine is going cockroach to spider, cockroach to spider, cockroach to spider. Does your back now hurt? Or is your back feeling like there's something there? The whole, the whole, whole, whole back. The whole spine. I'm feeling pressure there, yep. But it can't make up its spine whether it wants to be a spider or a cockroach. Sam's been falling down a lot lately. Oh, You've yeah. been falling down a lot? Yeah. It's probably because of this thing in your back. Just randomly coming out of the shop and in slow motion falling down and then no energy to get back up or dropping hot coffee or whatever. Yeah. At least you have a lot of these things and it's. I could see that her stomach, it's almost like there's things wrapping around her intestines and and. Have you been feeling like 
you can't eat. Yep. A lot and, of like nauseous and then you're starving. Then you're nauseous and then you're starving. Ugh. And extremely bloated. Yes. Well, these, that's, what, that's what these things are doing to you. You might feel a bit warm in a minute. Or you might feel warm. You feel that, by the way? I feel hot. I can feel me because I've had a cold. Since I came on the call nearly three hours ago, I started with a cold here. I can hear it clear, feel it clearing my sinuses. Yeah, I'm, I'm channeling in, just for any healers out there, I'm channeling uh, central sun energy and dragon fire energy. So I'm, bur I'm trying to burn all these whatever you call them, out of the way. I'm trying to burn them. It's too many to the bulk to eat. I can feel your shoulder now. I'm being pulled up right as you're doing this, so it's working. <laughs> I'm moving back out. <laughs> Maybe I'm being sat right back. You were moving back as I was moving back. Not really. How do you feel? Lighter, thank you. Do you know what I channeled in then? The, the energy of borax. <laughs> Get rid of all you. <laughs> Melted them. Oh, it's a new one. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the energy of borax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hmm. but it gets rid of bacteria and bugs and fungi and stuff like that in your body the borax itself so the energy obviously is the same yeah. okay. could this be anything to do with mold in my house you have mold what sort of mold? i've had a house um black mold around the windows they've replaced windows but i know it's still there and several other damp issues that have occurred over the last couple of days which have just made me extremely unsettled and want to move again do you know you can get a you can get something from the shops at Tanner and you paint it, it gets rid of it. It really, I, I didn't work in the store and I just painted it and the other lot went. And that was black mold. I've, I've, black mold I've tried dangerous. several things, but there's that and there's rising damp issue as well. So I moved mm. to the seaside seven months ago and it seems I'm being pushed to move again. And I didn't want to. We could have a look at your house, I suppose, where you live. See if it's natural Please. or not. I don't know, because I had a 
I had a stalker, an actual stalker person, and who me and Elaine had questions about whether he was shape shifting and stuff. Um, so there may be things attached to him as well, from him. Yeah, because we've got to find out where they're from. The mould looks very, but why isn't mould there in the day? Is it normal? I think it's from a leaky roof. Who's that? All right. Who answered that? Elaine? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me get your back up here and see where these this is nothing to do with anything we're doing but i've just found the spirit animals are lying don't ask me why that came in thank you <laughs> <laughs> I was told you got these from work. Okay, I don't work at the minute. You were pretty um, infested. So what What was your last job? Uh, uh, long I was uh, around in 2017, a freelance child minder, child carer. Before that, I helped people with disabilities to go back to work. Did that for about 12 years. That was for a government contract. And since the child minding is teaching, various forms of teaching, but now I teach my daughter. Could be the disability on that for 12 years. Is why why have we got disabilities? Uh, uh, Did you have a major injury at the time? Uh, yes, I had major eye surgery 2008, 2007, 2008, and 2014. I had cornea transplants, which were from donors. Uh, it could be that. You just don't know where them donors are from. Oh, it needs is one. That's the same year that you had your last job? It is when I worked there, yes. So you had surgery in your last job in the same year, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about that, Phil? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you open up your 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 auric field when you have surgery. It's just like injuring it's yourself, and all kinds of things can get in. Wow! But, but also you have some of that you don't know where it's come from, and that could have had some on it. So let, let me see if I can go into your chakra or into your kashic records and see if I can make you everything yours if you get what I mean. Because that yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, let's see if I can do that. I had cesarean as well nine years ago. That would have been a major as well.
Did you feel that? Feel lighter. I can feel cold air on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, what it is when you have part, I, I know it's, you have to have it anyway, but the energy of them parts might be different to your own, and they might have some on them. So, so now it's been sorted, that part sorted. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. And that can start affecting all sorts of parts of your body because it's it, it, it's looking at your body a bit. Do you know what I mean? You get what I mean, don't you? You've heard yeah. When people have different parts of someone else's body, it's quite dangerous. Energy wise. Yeah. You all right there? Yeah, I'm just doing some energy through a white yeah. light through her. I am going to be lighting bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Orc, feel all closed up now? Yeah. Okay. I think it won't really help. I think it was the surgery had brought some in it. Yeah, populated with parrot, the spiritual parasite. Earlier, sorry, I was just going to say earlier on when one of the other speakers was talking about, um, well, you picked up that she was being tracked. I wondered whether the eye was being tracked by this person in 3D. Because everywhere I go, they are there, but we can't find anything on phones or whatever. And they don't live near here. So I wondered if it was that kind of tracking with me as well. I, I, I did sort some out with that before that permission. Thank you. I did sort of sort some out. I actually don't think he knows he's doing it. He's being controlled as well. Right. Right. Do you ever have pain? Did you ever have a pain in your foot? Because when I was doing it before, I had pain in my foot. I had to shift some of your foot. Did you ever yes, get that? Yes, right, right foot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I took some out there. It's probably a tracker of some sort. Thank you. No, it wasn't me. It took it. It was Bob that took it out. Our spiritual friend. It eats them. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> was, that, was that a ghost? <laughs> Come on, you've you done your face now. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Come on, then. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be long. I have disappeared. <laughs> you've disappeared. Good <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hello, Erica. Hey, Elaine. That's Elaine. Hey, Elaine. Good night. Hey, Elaine. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. <laughs> I'm not going to bed yet. Oh, come on. Oh, but you will soon. <laughs> Thank I, felt you. Star I felt star seeding in, by the way. Oh, definitely. And also, it's she's been talking about spiders yeah. a lot as well. So I'm wondering if she's picked up on them. Yeah, she, she would have done. Stasis would pick up on them. So you could tell her to make them disappear. Just like that. She might do it. But we saw it, didn't we? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Your card was miracles, by the way. You probably Ooh. want to know miracles. Uh, if you ever want a, uh, a miracle, ask for it. But if you ever want to like move, you've got the power to ask for that miracle. That's right. The last time I did that was in January, and three days, <laughs> three days later, 
I ha this house came up and I moved to the seaside. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I need to be specific and ask again, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. I, I asked for the lottery win and they always give me not what I want. They give me just the lottery win, but they don't give me the jackpot. <laughs> Well, actually, I should probably expand on that. I asked for a wonderful community and neighbours because I had a, a terrible situation happen with a neighbour. And I asked for a wonderful neighbour and um, people that we, me and my daughter could connect with. And that's what we've got. Wonderful, wonderful neighbours, but we're in a house that's not quite right. They, they do it deliberately, <laughs> don't they? they? They do it exactly how you, you got to... You got like a right a contract out. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Deed, and I asked for unconditional love. Yeah. yeah, I asked for unconditional love and I got someone who fell madly in love with me and stopped me. So <laughs> yeah, I'm very careful now. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Suzette. Hello. Hello, everybody. All right. Can you see anything? <sighs> there was that one lady that tuned in to everything my guides had told me. She said that they're shielding me from healing myself and from others being able to see what's to see them i see there's a big wall up a wall okay Is she with us yeah there was something on my heart, a block on my heart. One thing at a time, Suzette. But let's. What was that? So one, one thing, thing at, at a time. time. Okay. Okay. I don't understand this lock that they have over her. It's not allowed. They've, they've broken rules. Uh -huh. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. You can't put a lock over you. I don't know who they are, but they're. <coughs> Can you hear them, Phil? Yeah, I'm fighting them, sir. What? <laughs> I'm fighting them. Yeah. Can you feel that energy yet? I'm calling in the angels to help me. I need more than just my team. Okay, Suzette, honey. It's okay. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs>
Oh, the Earth Angels have sorted the uh, beings out. Got all itchy and. Uh, let's take this off. Heart palpitations. It's okay. It's a good and it's a good energy. It's all. It's opening up your heart. It's good. Good. It's releasing them. They, they're it's releasing the lock that they have. <sighs> I was feeling like needles pulling out. It's working good. Yeah, just to let you know what I'm doing, I'm actually I'm pulling it in with my healing hand. Should be using my left, really. It's going right down, right across into. My transmuting ball. Releasing, clean, clear, delete, releasing. Clean, clear, delete, releasing. Clean, clear, delete, releasing. How are you feeling? That's just, just number one, that. <laughs> I don't know who they are. I don't know what they are. <laughs> when I said who, like, what? I don't know what they are. I don't, I don't know why. Why? Well, before we had the insectoids, so who knows what we got now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they are. I had to call in the, uh, I can call in earth angels. So they're like humans, but they can, the ones that are asleep will come out and they'll help battle. Now, normally you, you shouldn't really kill anything, but because they get reborn, but at least at the end of the day, you got rid of them for so many years, haven't you? Okay. It's the only way I could do it. Come on, come on, come on. Does your cat love you now? <laughs> my, my cat is going nuts. He does not like us moving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Phil, Deb, I feel something about dragons helping, or maybe working with oh. her. Dragons are helping. I think. Yeah, I just heard seven, I think about yeah. seventh dimensional. Like I heard the number seven. Yeah, that's probably Doman. 
Pardon? I've been blocked uh, uh, from them for a long time. It's Philip's I, dragon. I know, I know my dragon's there, don't we? Yeah. Okay. You, you might even seventh, be seven, do you? You seventh, be eight. seventh dimensional? You could be slightly higher. I'm not sure. Yeah, I I've, just heard I've, seven, I've never seven, coded in. <laughs> never asked. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just heard seventh dimensional dragons helping. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's more of interesting, isn't it? What did you draw? Let's see yours. Now there's somebody else's actually. I don't know. They're my uh I'm supposed to that. I've got an aspect it's a dragon. It's a warrior dragon. So I wonder if he's brought something. Hmm. I'm getting the color white for some reason. White dragon. Like white dragon? It's okay. got a dragon. I've got a dragon. I know I have a dragon. I've seen a red one battling for me and I've connected to a green one and there's one that's all different colors. <laughs> Yours is white. Mm -hmm. we, we, we just kneeling and we connected a white one with someone the other day. I wonder if we pay, paying it back. Might be open. Mm. Okay. Is there anything else we need to do? Yeah, it's a bit more. <laughs> okay. The mm -hmm. beings have gone. I think the dragons are clearing your house of their energy. Oh, good. The portal next to her. Right in front of that doorway. The dragons are going to help you work with your higher self. Oh, good. Thank you. Hi. That portal's done. Do you have pain in your thigh? If you just took something out of your thigh, do you ever get a pain there? In your thigh. thigh. In the spine? Thigh. No. Um, in the thigh. Side. Top of your leg. I, I had a broken tailbone many years ago. This is your side. Thigh. Side. Thigh. Oh, thigh. Your thigh. Oh, my side. Thigh. T H I G H. <laughs> thigh? Hmm. Uh -uh. Yeah. Okay. I've got, I got a pain in my arm. And the lady said something about something was locked in the arm. They have some kind of shield on me that no one can remove. I think we were removing that though. No, the shield is gone. Yeah, that's, got rid that's of that. what that's oh, what okay. that's what was I told they're not allowed to do that. They're not allowed. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I do feel better already. That's what they were arguing with me about. <laughs> They argued with me a little bit. And then... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they argued with me, and I was like, you're not allowed to do that. They're, they're, yeah. I don't care. And then, they, you know, Phil was started, the fighting started then. 
the battle started. You're not allowed, you're not allowed to do stuff like this. They're not. That's that's not allowed. <laughs> I don't know why they did why they did it. I don't know what it was for and why they did it. It's obviously something to do with the arch. Well, they, it's like they put a lock on you. Yeah. You can't. You're not allowed to do that. Uh -uh. No, oh. I have tried everything to get that thing off and I feel it when they're coming in and I, I can't lock them or block them out. Well, you, just might not, just that, you, you might have been just speaking off the energy. They're not allowed. It's You're sovereign. You just, you, you don't have to block yeah. them. You just tell them you're not allowed to do that. They come in more when I'm sleeping on the astral. Mm. I get a for lot of information. For the, you need to protect yourself in the astral. I, I tell Arch, Archangel Michael, I'm going to sleep now. You need to protect me, put protection around me at all times, all lifetimes, all timelines. Okay. I do, but I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> I know I'm odd, but I, I don't protect myself. I wait for <laughs> yeah. you don't bother any. They used to when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much. Have you done healing? Out. I'm done healing. Have you done yeah. your healing? Okay. I haven't done any healing. I've just shifted oh. everything. Okay. Okay. I'll give you some uh... the creator healing energy to you can do your beam of light or whatever you're oh, doing. Uh, I'll give you diamond light. There you go. Gonna, light the cider. It's going to electrify you. Heart palpitations. How do you feel now? I was getting a little bit of heart palpitations from that, so I know it was working. <laughs> <laughs> Healing a little bit of that. I, I feel better. My, my head feels um, heavy right now. Um, my, my, my I'm feels speed. Actually. Yeah. My, my, I've shifted some of that because I felt well. that. On the top, where you can think. In fact, I was putting the energy in your third eye because your crown was full. And this, I had energy in my third eye? I was, uh, instead of putting in your crown, I was putting in your third eye. When you were like that, I channeled it into your third eye. Okay. Yeah. It would be so nice to be able to get guidance again. <sighs> it, they've been really working hard to get me messages, and it's not been easy. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's, I've finished on your own The biggest wall is the is doubt. You know, you you just yeah. have to know to get through. And the knowing is your greatest ally. Well, I know who I am. And that is why I'm getting attacked. <laughs> because right. I'm at that level of them needing to kick my ass. <laughs> I know I'm I'm the same way. I mean, I I've been fighting for so effing long, you know. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's difficult for sure. All right, are you going to give her cards? Oh yes, give me cards. <laughs> Anyone, uh, mo most people doing the work get that. That's just part of the job description. <laughs> are you shuffling, Phil? Phil? Yeah, I am. Okay. Go ahead and stop. Celebration. 
Ah! Focus on your intentions. There you go. That's, that's like a that's like a story in itself. Where's that? Well, that? I can see him. I can see it. Yeah, you see him. Intention, focus, and celebration. celebration. Now, celebration was first. Okay. So celebration is like the intention in changing your life is coming. So that's like an intention before it. But what you've got to do is you've got to focus. So check your thoughts, intuition, check your journey. Have a go with that. And what's the other one? Intentions, just the same in it. Create a goal. Create a spiritual goal. Okay, set spiritual goals. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You got three left. Oh, the fourth, one, the fourth oh, one was, yeah. Did, hmm? Is my scribe unlocked? Everything is unlocked. Yeah. Okay, good. That's the thing good. I miss the most is being able to scribe. I, I, I try and do that, but I can't get the lottery yet. <laughs> okay. Right, your fourth one, which I didn't say, was your prayers are being answered. So there you go. Yeah. You, you mean like automatic answer. writing when you say scribe? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's I do that. They connect to me. Yeah, I do that all the time. I love it. Yeah. Um, I used to do that. Yeah, that's how they connect to me. I, I wake up in the middle of the night and I got to write whatever they were telling me to write down. <laughs> when I was at school, if I was doing an exam and I didn't know the answer, I used to try and scribe the answer. <laughs> Is that cheating? <laughs> Sometimes when I'm in charting and at, at the hospital for my patients, like they'll actually write out like actually what's going on with the patient. And I'm like, oh, okay. And like, it's my higher self doing the charting and the assessment and like, and it's more accurate than like my human self. It's kind of trippy. It's cool. It, it, it showed me that I'm supposed to be the female Edgar Casey, And that was the thing I'm supposed to be starting soon. And they keep on blocking me from it. So I'm supposed to be able to tune in to people and then write down prescribed or prescriptions. So I, I'm hoping to get into that soon, but I got a, a lot of work to do first on me before I get there. Being unblocked is going to help. <laughs> All right. I, I once I, I once tried to scribe the lottery and I got the answer no. Thanks. Oh <laughs> hey, hey Phil, they sent me a picture of me playing the lottery. And go. winning the lottery. And I don't know how to play the lottery. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to do it to win it. <laughs> Actually, I had a dream. I had a dream a couple of years ago where they yeah. gave me the they gave me the winning lottery ticket numbers. Oh. And, um, I ha I've I've played like a like a dozen times or whatever, and I haven't won yet. Um, but if you want those numbers, Phil, they might work for you. <laughs> I, I, well, I'm I, giving you guys mine. I need money bad. <laughs> I, I went. I, I went to the future to get the numbers, and I looked at the paper, and it was two weeks earlier. I'm having it. I want the future, not the past. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the best oh. one, I I went to the future portal, portal, and I got the TV with a lot lotteries coming up. And it, each one was coming up. Now, they, they say you're not supposed to gain, but you've got to try. And the first three numbers came up, and then my wife said, are, we, are you building a shed today? And it was like screens froze. And I mean, no, no. And all of a sudden, my dad did small, and I came back. And I said to her, why can't you wait two minutes? And she said, well, you can do it again. I said, no. They, they, they know what I've done. They'll stop me now. And the first three numbers were the winning ones. Was, yeah. Couldn't guess the other three. So that, that's my uh, bit on the last one. But I've been doing, I, I think I showed Deb, I, I tried it for, for three days and I think I put it on a, a reel 
and I got five out of six. I think five out of six on one, but what do you get? hundred quid. Then I got another one fifty quid, and I did it in the space of three days. And then I got six, got two hundred and seven pound in three days. But I can't win the jackpot. You gotta try it. Yeah. Hey guys, I experienced a timeline jump, huge. Okay, on the 29th, they put my social security money in. It usually doesn't come in until the third. Wow. That was weird. I was so stressed out about money at that time because of all the house stuff going on. And they put money in my account on the 29th. Uh, you you probably <laughs> manifested that. You probably did. That. I wish they do that more often. <laughs> no, I think you did it. You probably did that. Oh, you think I did it? Yeah. It was a you know what? <sighs> or you, or Maybe you I got, did because or an angel did next to you. I've been work. I was working there for a little bit, manifesting the um, the change of the house, and they were telling me what to do and how to do it, and. It was amazing what was happening. I that was the only abundance I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. And now that I'm clear once again, maybe I can start doing that again. Where am I picking this stuff up? I don't know. But we need to move on. Might yeah. have been an event. Might have been an event quite easy. Right. Yeah. Lizbeth. Thank you. You're welcome, hon. Welcome. Hi, Elizabeth. We can go back to. Let's go back to. Hi. Hi. Thank you Hi. for having me. <laughs> I have this pain in my neck. I have uh, had cancer in 19, 2019. Uh, but, um, and uh, something with my arm, uh, I don't know if it's from the neck. Uh, and uh, my spine uh, pain in my spine too yeah when did you have cancer in your neck again sorry 2019 uh, in my throat right. <laughs> she's got implants you have implants tear yeah, okay it's probably from the um cancer surgery did you have a uh, surgery yeah Did you have uh, chemo radiation? Yeah. Or? yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. I'll do. I'll try and do a. Uh, uh, I'll try and go into your eleven chakra blueprint and try and get all your cells working the right way again. Can you feel that? Did you feel energy? Did you feel the energies? 
You're on mute, by the way. <laughs> Oops. I'm getting that you're a fractal of Mother Mary also. Mother Mary is a twin flame to Archangel Raphael. Mother Mary is a healer. Mm -hmm. Who's the twin flame to Michael? No. <clears throat> no, no, I'm saying who is the twin flame to Michael? Oh, um, is it Gabriel? No, Gabriel so is a, the male. Archangel Faith. What? Faith. Yes, Faith. Hmm. Tracking devices in her right foot. So, uh, you talk to her. What country are you from? Where are you from? Denmark. I'm from Denmark. Right. But I'm not a doctor, but a lot of people alkaline the body with borax. You could put it in your bath. Now, in the UK, they banned it. Finally, even though I've got some. But if you put it in your bath, it will absorb it, alkaline your body. So it, it alkaline your body is less chance of getting cancer back. Get do, you know, do you know what the borax is that he's talking about? Let me show you. Let me get it for you on my screen. I've had it now for nearly three years. I buy it in the laundry aisle, all the laundry stuff. Yeah, they banned it in the UK. It's now oh, wow. borax substitute. What's that? <laughs> yeah. But the English name has got a chemical name, and they haven't banned that because they can't work it out. <laughs> yeah. That's what I get. Do you do you drink it? Yeah. Do you drink what? it or put it in the bath? Hmm? I don't I don't understand. Borax can alkaline your body. Now I drink it on a small amount. Now someone once was saying they were having shots and it was making them ill. You have a you have a few tiny little crumbs. But normally you have a quarter of a teaspoon in two liters and drink it but in a few days. But what you can do if you're not sure you can put it in your bath and it'll absorb into your bloodstream. Oh thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a wonder drug. It really is. It does so much for you. Right? Can you get this? Where can you get this in Denmark? Uh, I, I I haven't uh, this first time I see it, uh, so I I don't know, but I I doubt I doubt about it. I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Do you see the borax? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We oh, drink sorry. it in our drink it in 
in a tea. Oh. You only put a pinch, like a like oh. a pinch, a pinch in your tea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. No more than that. No more than that. No. Okay. A pinch in your teacup. Yeah. I, every, I get every day. Every day. It it clears your body of um of uh hard of um chemtrails and and uh clears it of what else? Yeah. Bill. I know. Yeah. I go yeah. Back. Oops, stop share. This is what I bought. It's now banned in the UK. So that says borax, but it also says tetraborat decaffeinate drate. Mm -hmm. And they still sell that in the UK because they can't work it out, but it's, it's borax. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. very rare. I used to get that last year in, in eBay all the time. Now, very rare. And everyone who's trying to sell it as chemical names times the value by 10. But instead of it being eight to 10 quid, it's now 100 quid. Yeah. Well, we'll that, try that, to get it. That, that'll last me till I die. But yeah, you, can have it. you can get it on eBay too, eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was thinking about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. There's YouTube videos about it as well. It explains what it does for your body. It's really, we've been doing it for a few years now. Yeah. Yeah. You, you feel okay. the difference. You do feel. Okay. It, it, it gets rid of all your bacteria in your body that you don't want and your fungi and stuff like that. And I'm Any not metals? a doctor. But Any they do. Yeah. Yeah. And it gets rid of fluoride. Um, right. Of fluoride. Yeah. It's the, the water is the water has fluoride in it gets rid of yeah. the fluoride that yeah. you're drinking or absorbing from the shower. Yeah. It's really That's good. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I've done healing. Have you done your healing on her, honey? Uh what did I do? <laughs> so I'm just kind of trying to remember. <laughs> I detoxed the uh, chemo. Uh went in the blueprint. So the, um, the implants um, that were there. Mm. One second. Mm. I'm going to see if I can find the borax the thing that white actually does. Yeah. There you go. I can share screen. Uh, nice share screen. In fact, I'll send it to you, Deb. Cheers to borax. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I've sent it to you to if you want to pull that up. This is quite interesting the way it actually does. It's amazing. Yeah. Have you got it? I I, I took it, the picture. Oh. No, no, I, I've it. got I've got a certificate. Have you got it, Dad? What? I've I've sent you the pamphlet of what it actually does. Okay. And now you have it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, I I did see that uh, took a picture. If it, uh, yeah. No, this um, this tells you what it actually does. What okay. Said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you got it, Deb? Just looking. It's taking a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think uh, Mother Mary's twin flame is Archangel Raphael. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Well, I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not even asking. Even though it's an aspect of that. He said my own business. Mm. 
-hmm. all the different archangel or um, oracle decks I have that are uh, angelic themed, they all say the same. Well, ask your higher self, ask Mother Mary yourself and ask, I wouldn't, because I'm pretty sure that's wrong and I'm a fractal of Michael, so. Thank you. You remind me of Michael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, has everyone got that? So you can see what he actually does. It's amazing. Best plugin, best thing I've ever done. And it also gives you what the nano detox bath is. But I wouldn't use baking soda and I, I would replace Himalayan sea salt with Celtic salt. Was it Celtic salt? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Phil, can you message me that image too so I can see it? What? I can't yeah. See it. yeah, just message me later. Yeah. Right. I've also got a video on it from my book. Done with this? Yeah. Have you completed healing, Elizabeth? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel better? Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. You coughing now? <laughs> really so <sort> that out. <laughs> Katarina, did you put your name on the list? Because I didn't see it. Yes. You did. Yeah. But there's a lot of messages. And my son. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. So I know you have your son there. Yes, I have my son. Are we doing your son today? Yeah. Yeah, and me too. If you have time for that. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I eat or say, 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 I eat or I or no, <laughs> 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 
sa YouTube pa yun. Nahinan na ito ay tayo sa Hai kapit, suy ka, hina ka, iso ko ka, tukso ko iya ka, na iso unayin ka ka iya ka, puso ka, uuuu, kai ka, suy ka, suy ka, susa ka iya ka, na ita ita iya, suy ka iya ka iso, faka ita suy ita suy ita. ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Which one did you pick up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, what did you say? What did you pick up? You pick up. The ancestors came in. I all I did was do healing. It was just they took over. I picked oh. up I picked up a liver, liver clearing, liver toxins, clearing out liver. Detox. And then Sophia came in to work with his higher self. Katarina, was there anything specific? Yeah. Was there anything specific that um, you brought him here for? Yeah, he has uh, lots of ear infections and kidney yeah. stones. Yeah, I, I was doing a lot of work in the day. Um, the ancestors, uh, the, the the native, the indigenous people that are above me took over. So I can only tell you that they did a lot of healing. Um, does he? Do you feel he? Does he feel better now? Do you feel like he does? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, but he always wants my hand in his right ear and head, <laughs> top of his head. <laughs> Do you think his pain is gone? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's not in pain. Good. Oh. I don't think he's in pain. I don't think his ears are bad now. So I'm hoping that within uh, it, I don't think he has an ear infection anymore. I think he's aware. Mm -hmm. I think it's like he touches to almost show you that he's aware something's happening. Like he okay. said the energy or of healing. He, yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. He does. He's like showing you like I can tell they're doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He knows. Yes. Thank you for bringing him to us. He's so beautiful. Thank you. Arcturians <laughs> are working with him too. Oh, his heart, my heart. Do you want to draw a card for him? Yeah, I think I think if you detox yeah. him because of the kidney stones, it's probably helping. I was sending detox energies into him. Uh, I'll say stop, stop. You just said stop. There you go. I don't know if this is for you for him, actually. I'm not really sure. But when it when you get the healing card, it basically means that if you don't focus on the problem, the healing is better. Yeah. So no. let me even go. And the next card is I think that I think that was for you. I think that's for him. Yeah. What does it say? Enchantment. Uh, enchantment. And well that basically means <sighs> It's, 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 it's like a childhood magic. It's not childhood magic. I think you could connect with your inner child as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How are you? How are you feeling, Barbara? 
Me? Or what? Yeah. I didn't hear you. How do you feel? Uh, uh, I'm very hot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got really, I got really hot doing the light language. I was boiling. <laughs> they just, they just came down and took over. Matt, <laughs> please. Did we? Uh, um, did we do Diana already? Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we did Diana. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm losing track of people because I don't see anybody other than Jillian. I think Jillian's our last one, but uh, Elaine, did we do you? Yeah. No. I don't see you on the list. Did you write on the list? I don't think so. How come I don't see her? Did I miss you? Elaine. Yeah. I, I did I say that I wanted. She, did? she she was just before Katrina. <laughs> yeah, I did see Elaine's note there somewhere. I, I apologize, Elaine. That's okay. Too much chatter. Too much chatter, you guys. I oh, hope people. Elaine's come soon because I want to get out. I want to catch it, but I want to get out grounding and go on a water run. <laughs> well, Elaine and then Jillian. Yeah. Jillian said she wants to be last. She just, Jillian likes to be the last one. She talks dirty to us. And then I think we lost <laughs> oh, I Kyle. <laughs> I, I lost Kyle because I think he's mad at me because I told him that he was wrong. <laughs> and if he's triggered by he it. He doesn't get my personality. Yeah. If you ever get triggered by anything, it's your the problem, not the person who triggered you. It's my problem. I know that. It is my problem. No, no, it's not your problem. If anyone, if you, if you trigger anyone, it's their problem because you're the trigger for them. They've got to do inner work. Well, I've only got one trigger and the person's still alive. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> you know, he kept interrupting us and he didn't trigger me. He did not trigger no, me. No, I no, no. You just said he, he went up because of something you said. That means it triggered him if it's true. Oh, because he left. Yeah. I don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. I just thought it was very immature well, for him to leave. Mm. That's kind of rude that he interrupts you. It was, but I carried on. I just figured his age. He's a young boy. I'm a first snapper. That's an old term. Get over himself, so to speak. Deb, <laughs> even though my aspect is Raphael, I've never asked that question because I don't think it's important enough to ask the question. Listen, he's it's, right. it's, it's, he's Archangel Michael. We have to give him some room. Yeah. He's an aspect. <laughs> we, lonely, we lonely peons from Sirius have to give him some room there. <laughs> <laughs> He, he oh, Lane, what's he did, happening? He, yeah, huh? he reminded me of my collection. <laughs> Are you ready for you forget, me? You forget Michael hangs out here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He hears everything you say. What's happening, Elaine? How are you feeling? Um, well, I was doing pretty good, but not so great lately. Um, my doctor um, increased my thyroid medication and she doubled it. And I don't think she should have doubled it. It was a little too much. And um, that was causing my blood pressure to go too high. Well, no, I, when I started lowering the dose and I think I'm at a dose. I'm back to where I was before. That's going to be OK, but it takes six weeks to three months to regulate it but I think I'm okay with that but I've had a lot of digestive issues especially yesterday and today when we started this I was in a lot of pain and I'm wondering if it's the energies from the eclipse or something else going on it could be part of it um it it, it could be the energies of uh, what we're doing because we're doing one person for everyone's getting a bit of energy 
and it might you need it might be like you're having surgery you know, basically the healing might be trying to fix it but sometimes you get the pain when it's trying to fix it can you hear him no, no I'm, I, I just made my um volume higher so i could yeah. <laughs> none, of us, none of us can hear you can you make your volume higher Phil? i don't know hmm. he this gets quiet when he gets serious is this louder no is this louder yeah <laughs> well, at louder. least we can hear you Love it. what about this that's good uh, headphone. <laughs> so I'm speaking direct to the computer now. What did you say that we missed? I was saying sometimes the healing creates, because it's trying to do fixing, it can create pain because it's fixing basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it my sitting here listening to everybody else caused me to have pain? No. The, the, the healing's going into the screen, but I'm seeing everyone. So sometimes the healing's going into you as well, if you get what I mean. It's not just going yeah. into one. So the energy is not just healing with the person we're healing. It's going to all of you. You're, you know, so sometimes you, that's why you're feeling better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're getting, the energy is going to everybody. We're not being discriminate and saying just one person's getting this energy. Right. You can all feel the energy is going to bounce around everybody and but um mm -hmm. I, I, seem to, I, I, seem, I see a tightness in your intestines which kind of bothers me i'm wondering what's causing it it's almost like somebody's standing there squeezing it like this your intestine you know both the, the small and the large it's like like there's but something there milking it it's like milking it you know yeah that's what it feels like It was in the area by my uh, spleen, and I never heard on that side. But it's in the middle too, right? Well, that's where I see it. It's I in the middle. That I, it, it yeah. feels like there's it just, and it's not all the time. It's like a little spasm, like a spasm of pain. Yeah. Almost like it's like some something just squeezes it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's your it's it's almost like the nerves. So they're it, it, the nerves are like inflamed, and it's. I see, I see it, I see it, I see it. Well, I'm getting there, but I'm getting it's it's a reaction to what you're having, the drugs that you're having, and coming off and everything. Huh? It's a reaction to what she has, the dr drugs. Oh, you know, like a, yeah, it's burning the nerve endings. I'm not a doctor, but I'm being told that. Yeah. What do you, what do you say? It's a reaction to what? Something. I didn't understand. The medicine. Part either. But you're having the medicine. The medicine. Oh, the medicine. Oh, oh. The thyroid medication. Mm -hmm. That's possible. Do you have a thyroid? Yes. It's just not working right? Um, yeah, I'm hypothyroid, yeah. The first time we did this, you told me it was caused by my thalamus. Do you think I channel this stuff? I don't remember anything I say. I know. I know. I'm just reminding you. <laughs> I'm glad you are because I would never remember that. No. I'm just sitting here going, okay, what? What? <clears throat> oh. 
I don't even know what a thalamus is. Part of your brain, the part that sits on top of your brain stem. I won't remember that. There's a lot of, um, well, I had to look it up. <laughs> I won't remember it. There's a lot of nerve endings there. A lot of nerve endings in our body. Yeah, but that's, that's kind of where they start in your brain. So yeah. there's a lot of them there that goes down the spinal cord. And they are connected to your intestines also. Your Yes, which is why this is your, it's, it's having an effect to, the, the medicine has an effect. They don't do a very good job with this fake, you know, if the, this could probably be cured with a holistic way rather than these pharmaceuticals. I'm working on that too. But you have to get off of the thyroid medication very, very slowly. Yeah, there's um, a woman on YouTube that they they're trying to that of course they're trying to shut her up, that shut her down. She's from Australia. Her last yeah. name is O'Neill. Barbara. Barbara. Barbara O'Neill, the whiteboard lady. Yeah, I know who love she is. Her. I listen to her. Love her. Love her. Love her. Mm -hmm. They've destroyed her life down there. Really? Yes. Hmm. Yes. That's too bad. All because of her natural cures. Mm -hmm. So while she's, <laughs> up, while she's in reality, yeah. While she's up, I would watch all her videos and write everything down because they're going to be destroyed. But soon they're going to take her offline. Wow. But. If she, if you could find something on there about your thyroid and all that stuff, I would write it down now. Okay. Because she's got some really, really, really good stuff on there. And I'm going, to, I'm in the process of writing everything down. Yeah, she had some really good tips on uh, high blood pressure too. Yes. And diabetes. Mm hmm What was the name of that? I want to look it up. Barbara Barbara O'Neill. She's on YouTube. She's an Australian. She's very religious, like a Christian religious. So, so you'll have to just overlook all that. But she has all natural remedies on and things that you do to avoid and things to do to get off of the, the pharmaceuticals really yeah, good tips so on there. he also explains how the body works and what it needs and exactly what it does and what she, it doesn't and she's do. a nurse and a, like a nurse practitioner uh, but she's old school uh, yeah natural yeah and that's why they want to destroy her there's a lot of natural healers in australia well and there's also the do a doctor in the united states that has that they put in jail that did the same thing they're killing them here well, he's now he's out of jail now, and he has his own natural practice. He had to give up his license for MD, right? Well, he's actually, OBGYN. Yeah. Uh, but he has his own all natural stuff. Saint Germain all gives him pains. Saint Germain gives him all the ingredients for natural healing. That's great. He, he actually sees him in the flesh. <laughs> great. So he's a, and Saint Germain is an alchemist. He was Merlin. He was, which is also an ax, 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 aspect of Phil. Yeah, I know Saint Germain. All, all with magic. <laughs> when Saint I met Germain, J, Saint Germain was a sorcerer. <laughs> when I meditate, I see the violet flame. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure. Utah. 
Yeah, I, I haven't got time for this video because I'm on this. But what about sea kelp? Shut out. I've got a video here. It says yeah. seven take, interesting. Hmm? I take that and spirulina. Right. So you know about that. Yeah. Yeah. And that could be a reason why when she doubled it, you know, they, because you take those as well, that, that could be a reason why you overdose a little bit on the because you take so. the natural stuff too. <laughs> I you hope so. <laughs> that means it's healing. Right. So and I yeah. can lower my dose. Yeah, keep that in mind because you're taking natural stuff that yeah, I did think of that. Yeah. Especially when I started adding in the kelp. Mm-hmm. You have to start listening and listen well, they to both have iodine in them. Listen to your guides ask them questions tell them that you need their help with this natural stuff that they need to guide you through this as well that when it's time for you to lower your prescription they need to let you know that you can't do this on your own you right. have guides, you probably have got special guides just for this part of your your journey that you're you're now trying to go the natural route so right. You, you, you especially you probably have a whole group of them that are that are guiding you with this just for that we have yeah. you, you don't have guides just for every day you know that that you you chose before you got here you don't, you don't have like four or five guides you have like um, and you have some that come and go piles back i know i know i talk to them frequently <laughs> yeah but you have something like we have some we have some for our here. Give me the right information. <laughs> we have some for our move. We have some for, you know, all different things. But yeah. you have some just to help you, you know, get off your medication since you're trying to do it naturally. That's excellent. So yeah. just for them. One's name is Leon. That's oh, funny. They won't tell me what their names are. So I'm glad you did. <laughs> and you have another name, Mitch. Hmm. The Oracle card was to take care of your body, your physical body. Uh, <laughs> your, your card, your angel card says, take care of your physical body. <laughs> yeah, that's probably disgusting. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I, I would look at the uh, holistic way because most of the uh, other way, they just want to give you drugs. They don't really want to cure you, do they? Just want to buy you drugs. And drugs and drugs. Those are the two that are going to guide you through this um, and help you through that part of your journey as, as far as your medication goes. Okay. Hold them to it. I will talk to them, definitely. The sun is some energy. Can you feel that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can feel it in my stomach. Right. I finished now, by the way. It might be still going in. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Kyle, you're up. Um, okay. 
Well, I uh, basically went in a like a long battle with different gods and goddesses and ended up getting disconnected from my heart and getting disconnected from my astral body and light body and and stuff and i was wondering if you could help with reconnecting to everything You went a battle with a demigod. Um, with many gods. I mean, which gone, ones? Uh, you name it, pretty much all of them. Okay. Poseidon was number one of the biggest ones I was in a battle with. Went to battle. Went to battle with Pythos and Odin. Some of these demigods, you got to be careful, we can be archons, shape-shifting. I've, I've had that. Yeah. I've had put Poseidon, it was archon. Why did you fight with him? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Fancied I mean... it. Just fancied it. <laughs> Good feeling. Not getting anything. What are you getting, Phil? Uh, I'm seeing a dark energy. Getting a lot of pain in you, actually. What? I'm getting pain in his back and his shoulders. I'm not even able to scan him. I'm only seeing is a black, a, a, an entity with um, a pitchfork. You think he fought a trickster? He was pretending. I got the same message. You got pain in the shoulder. Yeah. I think I'm inside of his ship right now. I don't know. I, 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 th I don't know. It's like my crown chakra is blocked. Deb, can you read me now? No. Your eyes are so dilated. What's going on? Mine? They, they look like it. Um, I'm calling it Archangel Michael.
I'm getting uh, I'm getting tricks now. It's, you've been you've done a number on me. Be right back. I'm going to go to the restroom. You feel that? I can feel a lot happening right now. Phil, I feel like I'm um, moved in, moved him like moved him, like moved him up out of somewhere, like out of a false timeline almost. And then I don't know what I did, but I moved him up and out. And then put him like back to where he's supposed to be, kind of thing. I don't know if uh, you pick up on that or if any of that makes sense. I, I saw tricks to the next. I mean, I actually saw a boat. A and boat? I saw, I saw a boat, like you said. And I saw reptilians on it. Yeah, there, there's reptilians. That, I, I kind of want to talk in private so I don't scare yeah. people, but there's a lot of reptilians trying to fuck with me. Mm. I don't think anyone would be fine. Really. Well, there's there's been reptilians physically blowing on my face for like a long time. Um, like they're dematerialized in the astral realm, but they're physically blowing air onto my face. Yeah. To just they're being, fuck with me. They're being 4D. What? They're being 4D. I am? No, they would be. They're blowing on you, they're in 4D. They're not really an astral, they're in 4D. Yeah, so I mean, I've been, at, yeah. <laughs> I've been stuck in 4D for a long time. I mean, have you tried to tell them to leave you alone? Yeah, nothing works. Um, yeah, they, this, they, they don't listen to that. This reptilian, um, like a few years ago, cut my energy, and like I started feeling this um, really intense, like. Ne like negative energy and ever since then um i've had a lot of astral war and stuff like that um but i am on a on a false timeline right now and um yeah it's been really difficult but i think we moved i think we're trying to move you up out of that time i felt myself like helping to move you like literally up and out of that timeline and plunked you into where you're supposed to be. Right. Okay, I can see you now. Yeah, I think he was stuck in a false timeline. He's got a lot of reptilian uh, I think they're this this one that was like I've never seen this. It was like a, a super reptilian. If you get, I don't know. I've never seen one like that. Different color. I don't really like a brown. What color was it? Was it black? It was like a, a very dark brown. I think it had a it had a crown. Or something. Yeah. I think that could have been a, a shape reptilian. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. And again, they can change colors, can't they? So, yeah, it could be shapes. Mm. Yeah. 
I'm just, uh, I'm trying to help, help you through your cash it. I think that's been manipulated as well. Did you have a reptilian um, lifetime? I have no idea. I think quite a lot of us have. No, because his back is looks like it, he's part reptilian right now. Oh, um, there's this this being. One of the I like. I merged with this reptilian and went through it. It felt like a DMT trip almost. I I did it on accident. I, oh, this, why would this, you this, merge with a reptilian? <laughs> you did so it this, by accident. Yeah, this reptilian um, basically uh, has la he latched onto me and he's been latched onto my heart for like a year and. Um, I don't know. There's just been a lot of a lot of shit happening, and but yeah, it was an accident. He he sh basically presented himself to me in the astral, like um, in my pineal gland. And I got and he looked like all these like rainbow portals, and um, I got really freaked out. And then he like he like sucked me into one of these portals, and then merged like changed. Uh, Chain, is it like the left side of my body that looks reptilian? But yeah, it, it, it was it was horrible. And anyway, um, how do I undo it? Oops. Hmm. That's why I'm being drawn to the Akashic. Right? Yes, <laughs> that's why. You don't merge with anything, Kyle. Ever, ever. I, I know. I, it was it was against my will. <sighs> These reptilians okay. have been have been blowing on my face and trying to get trying to get me to do this forever. It's horrible. Deb? Yes. Can we shut some of this down? Because my spine's coding and there's a lot that isn't being said to do with this. And just let Phil go in the Akashic and access what he needs because um, I got bounced actually off the call from 4G onto Wi Fi and then my phone shut down. And then I had to rejoin the meeting and it felt like, like you say, he got pulled off back where he, should, he need, it needs to be. But there's a lot more and it, it shouldn't really be on, on here because he isn't saying a lot, obviously, because he can't fit in a lot of it. And it's, it's really detailed because I had to restart my phone. Hmm. I think my mission was to destroy the AI and I think I was successful in destroying the AI but I had to go like really fucking deep but, but, but nobody just destroyed AI what? AI, is, AI is equal it, it, everything's AI isn't destroyed AI is still here that's, that's people's choices which direction they're going to take their so AI is, journey with humanity no, the AI journey. is not here. AI is not here. Okay, but well, I'm just saying, I'll wait for Phil finish, and obviously there's a reason why I'm last.
How are you feeling, Kyle? Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to surrender so I can get my telepathy clear to figure out um, what I need what I need to do. How do you um, feel? Better. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to scan Kyle again? Rick. I I'll look at the camera for a minute. Thanks. He still has a reptilian back, half a back. Yeah. Yeah. Deb, scan him and tell me what's happening. Can you see my wings? I see no wings. I see uh, half the reptilian back and I see a bunch of reptilians behind him. I, I don't think you made one. I think you made a few. What? I think you made with a few. I don't think it's one. Yeah, I don't know. Well, basically, I don't know. I've been thinking that my mind has been controlling the whole timeline of Earth. And that's why they've been attacking me so bad is because, I don't know, I think I'm one of the highest beings on earth and I can alter the... the when, when we, um, Deb, like I said, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I can feel this coding and I can feel where it's coming from and I'm not sure this moment where we're in, um, maybe it should be done afterwards. Okay. Because at the beginning of um, beginning of the opening of the circle, I was told how important it was to to stay with it and to uh, and to individually filter. Okay. But I can feel that coding. Just do a scan again. I see a a very hairy back and a. a He's changing now for, between two different things. A long time ago, they told me that I was um, one, of, one, of, like, the, one of the Bigfoot people. Yeah, well, that's what you're changing in between that and a, a gorilla. Hmm. Now you're just a gorilla. Now I just see a gorilla. Ugh. Now I see the planet of the, ape, the apes behind you. All the, all the apes. You know, with the guns and everything, but like from the planet of the ape with all the guns and their uniforms mm. and. Mm. How about now? My spine is bouncing. I might, wait, you might be feeling the energy. I'm, I'm trying, I'm using social energy here. Let's 
So we should take that. Now they're female apes in I Dream of Genia costumes. Hmm. Can you see me working? I'm only telling you what I'm seeing. <laughs> now I see back to the men, apes with guns, machine guns, old fashioned guns. Now I see oh. Dr. Spock and Captain Kirk. Are you, you thinking okay, Deb? Uh, there we go. I just surrendered to Phil. Um, I think I am Captain Kirk, honestly. I, th I think uh, I'm supposed to be like a one of the first pilots of a physical ship on Earth. Um, but I just feel I just feel a whole load of trickster energy. I just I feel there's just there's just a heck of a lot going on. Vying for attention. Is that a lot shifted? I agree with that. I'm not saying there isn't, Phil. But I yeah, I, no, I agree. I, I agree. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't physically feel this much energy holding up pillars. So there's a lot of messing been going on here. Yeah. I just feel a lot of density and heaviness. Yeah. Darkness. I just feel a lot, of dark, a lot of darkness. I just feel um, a lot of coding going on, and it's it's. I I I normally it's effortless, but I'm physically feeling the codes bouncing. Right. I've done my best now. <laughs> you've had layers taken off, but you've got so much. Mm. Yeah. I don't think they're reptilian, but I think there's so much tricks in you. Uh, yeah. Can you take a look at my ex-boyfriend? Um, I don't. I don't know if he was. I think he was a witch, and originally, like, this is him. Hmm. He's dark. Uh, is he dark? Yeah. He might not know it. <laughs> He's interfered with. Hmm. There's just a lot of contracts and it, it, it's very complex. I am freezing. That's because you're in the UK, I am as well. <laughs> cold no, today. it's, just, yeah, it's, it's cold today. just in one hand and down. What do I look like now? You look like yourself now. I just pulled I just pulled them out of a code. But you still have a reptilian back, and that's what bothers me. Yeah. Um can we end contacts? Their contracts. Is my back changing now? I'm trying to fight it. 
Jeffrey's he part reptilian anyway? I'm getting that he's part reptilian anyway. No. He, he merged part he merged with the reptilian. That's that's the problem. He's not no, I mean I mean because we're all from somewhere and we all contain equal amounts and we've all possibly embodied everything at some point too. No, I, I was I wasn't reptilian before. Um not all reptilians are negative. Some reptilians are just observers. God. We have to accept we don't know everything and we aren't always right. I am not always right. I will never claim to know anything. I will speak as I feel and as I see it. Yeah, what can you say now? It's gone. The reptilian back. Okay. Yeah, I felt Phil come through my pineal gland and go down through my spine. Um, yeah, Phil. Yeah. yeah, Phil did it, so it's gone. Um, I actually merged with about six of me aspects, though. So I've never done that many. Jeez. Six of me aspects. So tell me about your aspects, because, I mean, I've been fighting this astral war. I mean, you have no idea how many beings I've come across. It's, it's something to, something you've got to learn, Kyle, is <laughs> why are you fighting these astral wars, number one? Why? Because of people with schizophrenia. Um, I want to alleviate, I want to end end the ability for... Yeah, the other thing is when you, kill, when you kill a being, they don't die. They just get reborn. Hmm. So... That's what you. I I. I want to fix this I, world. I would that's kill him. Why. I would kill him quick because he. I can't do anything else. I haven't got the time. Fixing the world is just lifting the vibration. That's all it needs. Doesn't Healing matter about the being. Hmm? Gotta heal yourself. Yeah. I know, but then we just say, "Yeah, sorry, everybody that gets schizophrenia." Like, I mean, schizophrenia is always from like, a being and where is god can be triggered. schizophrenia can be triggered by many things a lot of the time it's disassociation um and at this moment in time um i'm not willing to discuss god and who's right and who's wrong because everything is love there is nothing but love there's either love that acknowledges where it comes from it's on or there is love that doesn't and is yet to actualize itself um can we please because my energy is attached to this and i'm feeling quite trembly at the moment can we shut this down and move on and discuss it afterwards mm. I'll, I'll we have another life. we have another healing to do with Jillian. Okay. But um God, yes, Kyle. Uh there's there's a lot that we need to discuss with you. A lot. Yeah. That uh that needs to be gone yeah. over with you. Because uh, you've yeah. got to be careful. You've got to be a lot more careful of what you're doing. Okay. When I when I do any battles, I'm not on my own. Yeah. I and Bill's been doing it a long time, a long time, much well, longer. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure I could get on Phil's level at some point in my life. Um, but, but it's not for it's not in the it's same not a level. That you're doing. It's not a level. It's not a it's, level. It's, yeah, it's not a level. Everyone, We're all on the same time. Hmm? Ego, ego will tell you that you are singularly responsible for taking down everything when you're working with energies through you. 
you are then merging with higher aspects and it, it's not you, you're embodying them. You've done the work, you've done the clearing and you're working through your heart. Yeah, I know, I know that. I mean, I know I'm a physical vessel that um, higher energies can occupy and whatnot. But um, yeah. and you're saying that I'm, I'm the most powerful. I'm this, I'm this. It's not about you, but you're making it about no, your so it's you ego word, it's not matching your actions. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it just the most powerful like, being wouldn't say to the most powerful being. Well, I'm okay. not saying I want to be at all, but, yeah, but, I mean, but you said you that you're the most powerful being. I mean, I don't, I don't know if, it, if that's true, but your your ego if, is talking. If you that. were the most powerful being, I would say tricks the energy got into. No, I'm saying I'm one of the most power. I I think that I am. It it could be wrong, but um, I'd say that way. Be, j j it's, it's it's not doing you any good. Even if you are or not, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're on the same side. We're a team yeah. selected like a web on Earth to lift the Earth's vibration. Some of these dark beings, we don't need to kill them. We just need to lift the vibration because they, sure. can't, they can't live in that high vibration. Yeah. Sure. And they'll feed That's off of your desire to know. Hmm. They'll feed off of it because they know that you're seeking and looking rather than it just being an organic experience that just happens because it's who your soul is coded to and your DNA is coded to your soul and DNA are going to be coded for certain things. It's not something you can just. Phil, Phil, can you connect to the Dalai Lama really quick and ask him who I am just really quick. You and, yeah, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm too the tired. Dalai Lama, the pedophile, the the, the child trafficker. <laughs> no, he's not, he's not a pedophile or a child it, trafficker. There is evidence of that. There is evidence. Well, why did Nilesh? No. Why did Nilesh in his uh, Archangel Metatron channeling? Why did he say that the Dalai Lama was his master? Not be drawn into this negative debate because. It's yeah. again, you're right, I'm wrong, and it, it's not acknowledging that everything here is divine. Yeah. We, we, we're losing the heart centeredness of the circle at the moment because I'm feeling it. Yeah. Oh, wow. You okay, Deb? You're not channeling yeah. the Dharma. No. <laughs> Next. I mean, the only question that I have about that is, do you remember, did you ever watch Nilesh Mysteries Metatron video? Nilesh, and, and uh, we've all done healing and we've done webinars with him. I'm very good friends with Nilesh. Yeah, in his, in his video, he says that the Dalai Lama is, is his master. Uh, which Dalai Lama? Not the current one that's alive, I hope. <laughs> well, whatever the one, whatever the one in his, in his video, he says that he says it's the Dalai Lama. Deb, can we can we talk with him afterwards so we can cut this yeah. connection? Because I'm sitting here bumped. Just now. I can't hear you, Jillian. I said I'm I'm sitting here bouncing. Can we cut the connection with him and talk about it just afterwards? Yes. Yes. It it um makes it makes a difference, but I'm pretty sure he's talking about a different one. I'm not sure if it was the one that's in there now, but um the one that's in there now is not who I think he was talking about. Um let's move on so I can get the last person taken care of now. And I think there's two Jillians. This Jillian and the other Jillian, they they both. Which one we're doing first? Well, since we have one Jillian already open for <laughs> Jillian Spooner, let's yeah. get you taken care of. Hello. Hi. We have one eye almost closed. Yeah energy from today <laughs> oh, no not that's not from today i'm gonna to have to close now so. 
mm. to see if Clips Energy that's doing this for your eye. Yeah, um, no, not he isn't doing my eye, but uh, the energy that's coding up and down my spine and my nervous system at the moment is probably activated coding and downloads that I was having from the beginning of the healing group session that started. Um, it start, it's starting in your spine, it's connected to somewhere on... It's actually pointing to, to the earth. Yeah. Um, it only started when you started doing this healing. Yeah. Actually, it's pointing to... Can you feel that? Why would it point to I've Africa? Been feeling, I've been feeling um, like this since he, you connected with him. I've just, it's, that's why I kept interrupting. Because I can hold a lot of energy, but it doesn't usually bounce like this. And when you initially connected, it disconnected me from, like I say, when you were moving in from timelines and things, I felt my energy connect. Well, I don't, I don't move timelines, but I can um, bring in energy from. No, but there was there was a lot going on within the group. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. I, I wasn't playing with the timelines. I think one of the yeah, other. Yeah, Natalie, Natalie. Natalie's energy merged with a bit of my energy and some of Phil's energy. But at the minute now, I've, I can just feel it thundering through me. Well, we're going to take source energy, Rick's, Rick's source energy, and I'm I'm drawing yours off. This energy that you don't want, I'm drawing it into me. I'm, going to bring I'm it. not saying it's particularly negative. I I don't I don't know. I'm just saying um, I usually hold a heck of a lot of energy in it. It's not. I don't even know I'm holding it. Unless it's when I, I was connecting to the celestial. No, because I've, I've, I've done that. I'm asking uh, Everett out. Uh, uh, okay, in the top of your head, there's going to be like a little, um, you know, like when you have to release steam, like a teapot. Yeah, like pressure. Yeah, um, there's a there, there's what there's a there's one on the top of your head right now because we're doing some clearing energy so that. I want to release the, it's like a pressure cooker. We're going to release the bad stuff and keep all the good stuff. Because I know I'm a filter anyway. That's what I do. So it just fun to see what it down. So we're, we're going to do a flush. You feel it? I just feel my, my physical nervous system jangling. We're going to do a flush of your physical and your spiritual body, so. Yeah, it's just, I just feel like, you know, like, 
when you're really cold and you you judge it, it's like that, but on steroids. <laughs> How's that feel? Better? Yeah, it's dissipating. It definitely is. I can still feel it, but it's not. It's not off the charts like it was. Yeah, I've took quite a bit of it, and uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was getting that all the way through. <laughs> it's um, becoming more of a gentle home now. It's still there, but it is a home. I've got um, a higher tone alongside uh, a denser hum. Where? On the I I I pick up on it on the left side. Um, I always pick up on it in my left ear. And now there's an, another higher tone entering on the right briefly. It's there now. With multiple frequencies. And if that's Evera? I think Evera's um, behind me. Yeah. No, it's not ever as frequency, it's like being it's the gun. No, they they're still there. They don't feel particularly negative, although there is a quite a, a denser one, a bit like a a plane. Uh, they tend The devil or Phil, um, is there a mantis being on merging frequencies with the higher frequencies on the my left? I haven't heard that frequency for a long time, so something's dropped a bit lower somewhere. You should be clear, no blockages. Does it feel clear? I feel clear in the body and energy wise. It's the frequencies that are connecting uh, where to get the codings from, downloads. It's not clear, it should be. 
there's a, a denser hum along with the higher ones. It's a bit like a, a smoke. I can anything I compare it to is like a, a light aircraft, like you know, a bit like a World War II bomber, you know, the droning noise. Yeah. That's what I can hear alongside the higher frequencies on the left. On the right, it's it's high and clear. We're alongside the higher frequencies on the left is a, a denser droning, like more like a hum. There's a bit of reverberation, like a an echo. Hopefully nothing's happened to Earth while we're doing this. <laughs> could be a could be a solar thing. We just don't know. Where it's going. It it looks almost like there's a a cloud, but it's not a real cloud there. So it's like we're moving it. Yeah, I can see it. It's, it's almost like it's tagged on. It's just Long there. Things. It's just there. It's it, it, it's not. Um, it's trying to block you, but it's not from the light. It's from they are trying to interfere with your codes. Yeah, they so, are. It is because I can hear the reverberation. It's not clear. Yeah. So when you're Something doing the coding, happens. it's coming back to you instead of going out. So we're trying this, to... Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Come in, in at the end of the, the, the healings. It came in with the last healing you did. Yeah. See if it's gone now. Um, some's coming through because I can hear it. Um, because as you know, it's a bit clicky like Morse code, but there's still another reverberation. I'm not sure at all of it's going through. But we removed that just that uh, cloud-looking thing. It's gone, so I don't know where it would be. What's in the way now? Just a second. It's um. The jitteriness is going down, predominantly down my right leg, like a, a slight jittery feeling that had completely gone before. Right. Oh. I think it's you know, I think it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, I don't see anything now. Hmm. I've got a dragon there. You might feel the dragon. I have it all clear. Just Something, uh, is there anything that you can physically see or tap into that's blocking the communication? Um, yeah, it's very strong. I feel like there's been strong more maybe to source some source energy and another higher aspect. There's something somewhere that's been bouncing it off because um, my blood pressure has been going twice what it should normally be but if, as you know it doesn't hit me how it's supposed to so I don't even know why they bother and something around my pancreas and bladder again 
Is this before tonight? Or is this now? Yeah, that's before tonight. And Deb knows about the other the other things. Is that your dragon fill at the back of my neck? Yeah. There's like, um, there's like residual silt there. It feels like sand. It feels gritty. It's got implants. can feel their energy just finding them. They're invisible ones. Yeah, they had a battle with something a few weeks ago, trying to physically push through. Quite a few on the inside in your organs. Yeah. You got something on your arm here. Where, sorry? Right here. Yeah. I think a lot of the implants are gone now. They're shifting. What is it? Um... Messing with the nerve to my right eyelid. Yes. Because my vision's fine, it's on the nerves. What do you think, Dan? Pardon? 
I think I've got rid of. <laughs> I think I've checked. I think I've done why. <laughs> I can use the energy up here. Oh, we in France Cup. Is any of us? Yeah, they're gone. How does your eye feel? Um, the same. Yeah, I've done that. Got that. Open. No, it's closing. Me to the healing on the neck, where it's the, the pressure is from that. No, it's the, my eyes just closed. No, I can't full cell open any more than it is. Bill, is there something on one of the meridians um, around the heart? Like a... Okay. Yes. Because... Um... Something's not right because before I could I could force against whatever it was I could force it open, and now I'm really struggling force it open. No, I can't move that now. No, it's shut. What was it like before? Uh, between half and then it dropped a little bit past half. A little bit past half. Now it's shut, stuck. Natalie, I don't think um, whatever this is, is even from uh, this universe. Uh, have, you, have your guides given you any indication where this is from? What? Is that me or Deb? Uh, Natalie. Natalie. I was guided to Natalie, yeah. Uh, you have to mute, Natalie. I see your mouth moving. I don't hear anything. No. Yeah, I think something's blocking it.
That is the weirdest thing. I'm not blocking her. It's like her. Just one minute. I keep getting something. It's from Africa. Why would I get that? It's pointing to. Where's the water? I'm going to get the continent, Africa. I think I, I download a lot of codes for the. the... Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yes. For whatever reason, my audio, the mic on my computer didn't work. So I just grabbed my. Uh, more professional microphone. Um, it's better quality. Um, let me feel into it with Sophia. You were asking if, ask your question again, Jillian. It's something's um, on the nerve to my right eye, closing it. But I don't know what it is and where it's from. And Dev and um, Phil have done the healing, but it's closed and it wasn't completely closed before. From another timeline? Maybe. Like we, sh mm, no. Mm. Something's going on because I can feel Phil's doing something, it's twitching and then it's pushing back. I think it's going open and then it's floating shut. Will Source tell you, Deb, about the Africa thing or is that not, not to be said? Yeah, I'm looking. It's it's some source of water, and uh, water holds the codes for the collective, don't it? I'm trying to find it. I'm looking at it. Go away. Is it improved at all? Because I my house can seal them. <laughs> no. no. Felt like it was going to open a bit then, and it hasn't. It's like there's something blocking the energy right there in that microscopic level in that nerve.
Yeah, like I'm not getting anything specific as for uh, where it came from. Can can it be removed? Is to, there now is there something? Or is it for another time? Blocking its energy field, like blocking the nerve, like something there, preventing it from like opening. Like, is there an implant or something? I don't know. We removed the implants. Lake yeah. Victoria. It's it's a lake and a kind of in the middle of Africa towards the east. And does that mean anything? Lake Victoria. Does that mean anything for you for coding? No. No, I'm just getting a partial code. I'm not getting a full code. Well, it's about even with the Congo. So it, it's Lake Victoria, and then next to it, it's uh, dead. It's about the. It's it's right by the equator, and then the Congo. The the river. That's the area they brought that they showed me. No, oh, so need a tiny bit, yeah. Luke. Go yeah, there. I just, Get the I codes. Just, yep, I just felt something. I, so I was just. Look, so I bit. felt that you said that. Just a tiny bit. Uh huh. I felt something like hmm. move. Before it was about half. Don't know what's activated it to.
Oh. How is it? Just don't mean that little bit that I got before. Yeah. It isn't not all the way. It's just that bit there. It was before. It was about halfway, but if it's not for today, it's not for today now. Mm. But it, it has got movement. My eyes, underneath my vision, and everything's fine. It's whatever's on that nerve. I'll send you some healing overnight. I'll, I'll okay. Have a, I'll, I'll, I'll have a word in the aspect. No, it's gone down again. Message me in the morning. See if it comes back. No. So before tonight it was halfway and now it's yeah, yeah it was halfway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The implants are gone. Okay, thank you. There's Rick disappeared. He's sitting on <laughs> he's sitting behind me in the comfortable chair. These uh other chairs sitting here all day or they hurt his back. You know, okay, thank we're not, you. We're not youngsters well, sitting yeah, in the hard <laughs> chair. <laughs> Julian messes me in the morning. Uh, okay. Sorry, Julian. Work, so I'll thank you, Natalie. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know we were do, yeah, working on something. <laughs> I think it's there's more to it. Okay, thank you. All right. And now Jillian. The, Jillian C. Hi, this Hello. is Jillian C. This is where it gets uh, X rated, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Come on now. No, that was last night. <laughs> uh, no, because I was telling Phil um, when they did their uh, little Lucifer episode. <laughs> I was just listening to it, and then there was like some nice voices coming through me saying bad words, but it got out. But I also uh, saw my whole family, <laughs> and I'm still here, and I didn't kill anyone or burn anyone, so that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to New York for uh, my stepmom's funeral, and uh, my dad was there, and my, my mom and yeah my reptilian mom my dad my betrayer brother all the betrayers were there everybody was mean to me and um were you loving to that well you, in a sarcastic way <laughs> <laughs> um i did really good i was on the verge of either burning them or punching them or destroying them or calling them all out my mouth started to run, but it was all true. They were just such assholes to me for all this, and I needed help. And the only person that helped me was my stepmom, and, and she died. But um, I just thought to myself, honor thy mother, or stepmother. Forget my mother. She, but my real mother was there, too, which was crazy. Wow, um, why was she there? It, yeah, exactly, right? Um, yeah, because she's making an effort now that nobody talks to her. And we're teaching how to, her how to love, though, and, and care for others. So it's kind of working. But yeah, she did oh. pretty good. Um, so uh, I got, yeah, so I was at the, at the um, you know, the, the ceremonies. And then my dad was giving a speech. And when he was giving the speech, I was, he was talking about being there for people. And then my mouth was running. It was like, yeah, it must be nice. It must be nice when people are there for you. Like, it was, no. yeah. It, was, it, it gets intense. <laughs> And he's in the, you know what I mean? But then like he- Welcome he got, to New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said something along the lines of um, that like who the next ruler is because he always talks about being the ruler. And then he said it would be like something about women. And I raised my hand and I was like, I got something to say. But then I did get up and I said a speech and I said- Have you got did you it or did you say it? I, I really said it and I did it. I did a really good job. I said, like, um, okay, keep this short, like something along the lines of like, 
uh, the last couple of years, like I was poisoned and like got really sick. I didn't know what was happening and nobody believed me, but Lori believed me and she saved my life. And I just said, to sum it all up, we all need to be more loving of each other. And I didn't kill him, so. Oh, that would, um, you must have been loving them. <laughs> Um, I look, I, I don't want to like punish people unless it's necessary. I would rather have a good freaking time. You know, I don't like to fight, but some people need to learn. And I guess I need to teach them how to love and, you know, be the example. Um, but don't be surprised if your, your newest angel is your stepmother. Yeah. Oh, well, I did say I can't wait till she haunts you. <laughs> She's not going to haunt anyone, but. Don't be surprised if you feel her energy after she do, she's done with her rest. Yeah, I can't wait. Because you know she's an angel, right? Yeah, I know we're making, we're connecting. I know. Um, so yeah, so I, I did take a Borax and an Epsom bath and all that. And I did, um, but I might have like, like cooties on me and all that, you know, from the whole, the whole family was there, but I did good. And then afterwards, I made my dad take me to TJ Maxx because she loves TJ Maxx and that's what she would want. Um, and then, um, <laughs> lay the money down, dad. <laughs> she spoke through me. She did. She was like, take her. Um, but this is wild. Of course you'd expect nothing less. When I got there, um, you know, I've been into like, uh, the enchanted forest theme and making like giant mushrooms. And there was a golden mushroom there. Wow. So I feel like this is my trophy, but so I didn't know this, but it makes a frequency. Oh, is that good? Oh. Is, it, is, that, is that what we sell it for? Or did you just find it? It was there at TJ Maxx. <laughs> it's not there now. <laughs> Uh, like it was at for sale at TJ Maxx, and I made my dad buy it, buy it for me. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like it's like the trophy because I made it, but I never heard anything like this before. Um, it's amazing, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're, I don't know, maybe Jillian needs us to like get the eye bugger out of her eye or something, make it open up because you were talking about a cloud. I'm like, uh... but yeah. Um, so yeah, just uh, if you could scan and clear the co any cooties um, from that. And I think my ears are getting better, but they're, um, I don't know, they're weird. I was told bad. like there's some implants that came, are coming out of them or something that didn't get used. I don't know. They look bad. Yeah, that, I think- That, that, rash, that rash is gone, isn't it? <sighs> they're, not yeah, pointy, I, they're not pointy anymore. <laughs> I think they're making like, I don't know, weird stuff. And then, um, I, I don't know, I think it was all like seeing my family, doing a good job, transmuting everything to love, reminding them, you know, to be loving, um, uh, being, yeah, just being loving to all the betrayers. Um, and now's the eclipse and everything. So I think, you know, everything's gonna shit its way on out. Um, and then after that, I. I need some support on one more discovery if uh, you want me to reveal that now. <laughs> one more discovery of what to be healed. This, oh. one, this one's just crazy. Um, so uh, I found myself, I found me and my dad in a Marvel comic book and my dad is Spider-Man <laughs> and me and uh, Venom poisoned I'm playing it on Earth X. And it's our same story. It's, it's, it's us. So um, I just need support because I found out I'm a Marvel comic book character. <laughs> it, yeah. It's, so my it's, it's, out there, it's out there in print? Yes. Yes. Do you have it? Uh, I looked it up and I found pictures of I found pictures of myself. I have the same stockings. I got poisoned by some alien goo that I can control, but my dad hates it. He's the same phrases he said to me are in the story. Um, everyone around him in the story is dead from cancer. And that is what happened. He, and it says he's radioactive 
his love is because he got bit by a spider. Uh, my last name is Canastraro, which means the king of the weavers or can astral and be shaped into a weapon. My mom's, my real mom, um, her last name is Seder, which means magical weaver of, of, of silk or silk. So once you, you know, am I a fucking spider? <laughs> or am I teaching the spider to love? Phil, stop laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. <laughs> yeah, you are. I wasn't laughing. I'm teaching the spiders all over. Am I like a damn... Uh... You, you've gone beyond me, actually. You're not a spider. Okay. You don't look like one. But my dad's like Spider-Man. Okay, look, I know like uh, we were in the Super Soldier program. I know a couple things. Like I know it's all coming revealed and, I, and I'm sorry for... Well, anybody. they have to write... They have to reveal it in order to... They have to reveal what they've done or what they're doing. Mm in order for their, them to not to have karma. Yeah, that's, that's a good philosophy, isn't it? So that's why you see it in print. Mm. Okay, so yeah, um, where's the royalties? <laughs> and is my dad <laughs> taking them or what? Well, I, I was told he got sucked into the super soldier program. I tried to help him, I got sucked in, but it's part of my thing, but there's a lot of, comic book characters oh, so if they wiped your memory if you're a part of the super soldier program i they did but i think but some of it's coming through a lot and and i'm sorry for anybody i killed or anything i did or my dad did i thank them for the lesson you know i love you um i learned the ultimate of manipulation mind manipulation and such um and i was just told like work on the healing and more more is gonna come but you're fine okay and I'm not a fucking spider, right? No. Okay. But if you um, want to be, you can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Is my dad hiding the royalties, though? He always has secret money. I have no idea. <laughs> I am only concerned about you. I have to have permission to talk about him. Okay. I don't have it yet. Well, I, I don't know. It's going to be. Hmm. I think it's, we're all going to be fine, though, I think. Yes. But I made the speech and I didn't blow them up or spit web on them. But this is, it's weird. Did any of y'all ever like open a comic book and find your life? No. Okay. But then again, I'm not you. Good. There's yeah. You only one's necessary for this universe. <laughs> hmm. Otherwise, I feel alright. I just have a big headache. I think I'm gonna be good. Yeah, this is pretty good. I think yeah. I think this was good. Like. Facing my um, whole family, being loving. You knew what to expect. You were prepared for it. As much as you wish they were different, you're, I mean, you've, you've dealt with, you've, you've already dealt with the trauma. And even though you, when you go, when you see them, you kind of get traumatized again. You're adult now. It's a different type of trauma. It's, it's the, oh God, what the fuck trauma again? I can do this. Oh, what the fuck trauma? I get, oh, okay, I can do this. It's that kind of, you know what I mean? You're yeah. like, why can't you be different? Why can't I have a normal life? Yeah, they are trying to say like I I was talking to my one uncle because he is awake. He's really cool. Just to just to tell him what I was going through, and then they already tried to say like we skipped or we left uh, or we relate to the uh the, to the brunchin because we were doing cocaine, and I was like, I don't like cocaine. Like, <laughs> and I was just like, we you know we were reaching out because his wife has totally changed and you know, all this other stuff. But I'm sure like my stepsister's just sad and spreading rumors. But I was like, if I wanted cocaine, I'd ask my dad. Like he was, yeah. <laughs> whatever, I'm not gonna top that. And I don't like coke, so whatever. <laughs> but yeah. I, otherwise I'm just like, it doesn't, it's okay. It doesn't, don't it doesn't. project your shit on me. That's, they're only, what they usually project what their problem is on you. 
Yeah. They're guilty of. And I know that I'm you know, crazy. Right. I know I am. I'm, pr- I'm proud of it. I'm happy with it. It's fine. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. I'm not hurting it. Like, I'm not being mean about it or lying. I'm straightforward about, you know, who I am and what I do. I, I think the energies are really good. If they're they're very very good, and I I don't see there's no there's no nothing attached to you, nothing growing on you. I mean nothing. All right. Yes. Okay. Cool. It's your amazing. Card was, your card was for playfulness. Play with the inner child, but I think you do that anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I get um? Can I get like a clone of my soulmate to play with since he's not available? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, thank you. <laughs> and your last card is Serenity. Mm. Serenity. That's a nice card, too. Yeah, it is a nice card. Yeah, I just want to have some fun with some. Proud of yourself. Look at look at the difference in you. Peace of mind is within I'm you. I'm proud of you. Thank mm. you. We got, journey, our house. Did, did, we got an offer on our house. For real? We accepted. Everything's good. It's wrapping up. <laughs> good. And you guys cleared Lucifer. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm I, I was listening to that, sitting there in something. It wasn't me. It was sitting there going, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I was like, that ohm shit's not going to work, okay? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, are you talking about someone that uh, um, I don't say on here? Phil, did oh, yeah. you just say you merged with Lucifer? Like, Wendy's really me, cool. Me. It was funny. Uh, source. And for me aspects. Uh, yeah. To release the thing. I know Deb did work on him, but a lot of people have done work over the years and time out outside 3d isn't it doesn't exist so it's yeah. all, all done at once yeah but it was risky i risked it very risky it, it was, was as risky as what you did <laughs> but i'm still here <laughs> so I didn't you, know I I I but it, the thing is i remember in when we terraformed mars when i was the raphael aspect so uh, he was very close to he, he was very close to me and Gabriel, if I remember. Yeah. And, and Ennio, Ennio splashed us with her wings. Her wings could create vapor, and she soaked us. That's, yeah. that, that's, that's my memory. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, it was just time funny. Ago. That was a long, long time ago. Yeah. Some voice was just coming through, like a bad voice, like real. But it was funny. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, oh shit! It's not gonna work. Shut the fuck up, but it was silly. I just went to bed. Everything I do, I, I was doing that home that day. I was I teach uh, children crystal therapy. And I yeah, was I know. doing I was yeah, I was doing the home for the I do home is for the crown chakra and the third eye. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. It was just like uh it felt like an exorcism or some something, you know what I mean? Like, but it was funny. But you guys I mean, did a good it, it, it but... nourishes your chakra system. I'm gonna yeah. end this meeting. You can go off off the recording if you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thank everybody for joining us today. And uh, I thought we were gonna talk go more. Carrie. See though, through. There's one more frequency for you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the, uh, YouTube live. <laughs>